I unplugged my mic yesterday and I forgot that I did. <laughs> Hello! Can you guys hear me? I hope so. Hopefully you can hear me just fine. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Milady, ma'am, howdy partners. How's it going? Hopefully we don't have an internet outage today, eh? That was unfortunate. <laughs> I couldn't believe the timing of it yesterday. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't believe my internet just absolutely crapped itself. Hi, Canadian. Hello. How do you do, fellow partners? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, hi! Uh, hi, guys! Hello! Um, swimmer, can you date me in the metaverse? I promise to buy uwu owa the dwinks. I can't read this. I fucking can't read this. <laughs> I can't do this. Oh my god. Hello! I, I could- I had to stop. I'm sorry. I had to stop. Hi guys! <laughs> yeah, it's Highlighter Looney tonight. Bust out your sunglasses. Quinge. <laughs> I'm going to rage vomit. Chaos, thanks for the 245 bits. Coming in to say hi for a few. Super tired and going to sleep soon. Mobile bits can screw off. Oh my god, why do you keep doing the mobile bits, sir? Anyways, you'll be amazing. Looney Heart, dude, thank you so much, Chaos, for the 245 bits. And Hoppa Sunga with the tier 3, 33 months. We're closing in on the three years, brother. Thank you so much. I super appreciate you. And also, Eno with the 31 total months. Good evening, Looney. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. It's been 31 wonderful months of chillaxing in the evening with the Looniverse. Glad to be here and to be part of the community. Watching you strive so hard always encourages me too as well. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. So which anime are we gonna watch? Oh, God. Guys, I was afraid to stream today because I was like, oh, God. I need to stop myself. Uh, Swizzkey, thank you so much for the three years! Wait, wait, let me do it too! Three whole years, dude! Thank you so much, Swizzkey, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. <sighs> oh god, Sashenka. <laughs> was that you that did it the first time? Yes, that's right. I knew it. I was like, I feel like I've, I've experienced this before. Um, so, yes. Were you afraid to stream Avatar? Oh goodness. I have a way better YouTube video for the whole watching movie on stuff and stuff on Twitch. It's kind of long though. Oh good lord, guys. <laughs> good lord, guys. I was like, you know, I was, I, I was overly thinking about it today. I thought about it too much. Yaji, thank you so much for the tier 3 55 months, dude. I appreciate it. Happy New Year! My resolution is to stop watching your stream. It was going well for the first week. Oh, damn. <laughs> thank you so much, Yaji. And Chaos with another 245. This is for Sashenka. Now I sleep. Oh my goodness. Take it easy, dude. Scam train. Welcome to the scam train, y'all. Do 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 wrestling on the train. Oh goodness, thank you guys so much. I have more stuff. I have I have another Christmas card and I have two packages, by the way. Uh McBeezy with a gifted sub as well. Thank you so much. Hello, Nozaki. I'm having a good day today. Uh pretty productive day. Um ish. It is like a half productive day today. But yesterday, so my internet went out, if you guys weren't here for yesterday's stream, my internet went out, and I... Did you happen to send out my card? I did. I did send her. I sent it out today. So, hopefully it should be fine. Let me know if you get it. It said it should arrive on, like, the 11th or something, maybe-ish. So, keep an eye out or whatever. Um, yes, chaos. I have... There's this, and then there's a box from Not You. That's, I know for sure. So, I could open this, because I know you said you are gonna sleep, so I'll take a look. But, um, yeah. Yesterday my internet went out at really unfortunate timing, so we'll see if we can get back into the whole gender reveal thing. 
I heard that somebody messed it up and it was the answer was exposed so we're not gonna do a prediction I don't know what happened because I wasn't there but I heard that it went off I don't know you didn't see anything well I don't know I don't know oh what is this all right I'm this this envelope is huge <laughs> why is this envelope massive all right uh wait no message hold up is this from you hey sweet and spicy original flavored herbal and black tea i can smell it born to be bold is this from you chaos is this not it it's not from amazon well who sent me this one there's no note it doesn't say it's a sweet and spicy tea though I know, spicy, interesting. I'll have to give it a, a taste test. Does anyone know who got me this? I don't know who sent you that one, but I drink it all, all the time at home. It sent itself. Oh, spicy is cinnamon. Oh, that's the tea I said I was sending. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you sent me two different teas with Cookie Crisp. Thank you so much. It looks like, okay, it says spicy cinnamon and bursts of sweet orange playfully mingle with lemongrass, peppermint, anise seeds, and ginger in this herbal and black tea infusion. Mmm. I'll have to give it a try. It smells spicy and sweet. <laughs> accurate. <laughs> Absolutely accurate. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And I also got a package from Jeremy. I have the box down here and I don't want to show any accidental um, addresses, but I have it. It's here, okay. <laughs> I got it, let's see. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh my gosh. Y'all sending me coffee too? Mmm. That smells really nice. But is it decaf? <laughs> it smells really nice. It's a uh, Marco's Blend Coffee, the original 19 since 1993. Think Italian. It's from Hawaii as well. It smells like caramelly. Mm. This smells so good. Wait, there's two. Two Marco's Blends. Wow, this smells so good though. Now I have coffee! <laughs> what am I gonna do with coffee? I, I can't drink coffee. <laughs> All right, well, I'll have to take sips. I'll have to make some and take sips. And, ooh, that is very coffee smelly. And, oh, and I also got a shirt. Oh, Aloha Culture. Molly built. Oh, what emote did I get today? Dude, this coffee smells delightful though, I gotta say. There is no such thing as can't. <laughs> I know. Oh my God, this coffee smells really, really nice though. I gotta say guys, I gotta say. Jeremy! I'm not sure if Jeremy's here, but Jeremy, if you see this, thank you so much for the delicious smelling coffee and the lovely shirt as well. Oh, wait. Is this something? Aloha forever! <laughs> Yo! Do you see how Looney is normally? <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, I think you might need to check tomorrow. Do you have a... Yeah, just check your tracking number. When it says delivered, let me know and then I'll go. Cause I don't wanna just have to go and check if there's nothing there all the time. But just let me know, okay? When it says delivered, then I will head over. Everything smells like coffee in this thing. It smells so good. I wish you guys, I wish you guys had smell a vision so you could smell it. I love the smell of coffee. Oh, it smells so good. It reminds me of, I don't know what, but it reminds me of something, but it's delicious. It smells like... <laughs> it 
smells like... In Canada, we have ice caps. And it smells like a strong version of the ice caps. Mmm. It smells nice, though. I am enjoying that. That is delicious. Oh, my room's gonna smell like coffee, and I'm not even mad about it. I like the smell of coffee. I wish I could drink more of it, though. Or I wish I could actually drink it and not have... You know? <laughs> Shaky like Chihuahua. Yeah, as in Tim Hortons. It smells like a very strong, like, ice cap smell. And then I got a letter as well. Um, this is from, it says Zan, Zan B. Dude, my parents said it was, it was really, really cold where they're at right now. Cute! To Lunity, thank you for being a positive force in 2021. Every stream, whether I lurk or actually actively participate, inspires me and gives me motivation to keep grinding and that anything is possible. I wish you um, spend your holidays with these with those closest to you. To great moments in 2022. Merry Christmas and happy 2022. Zan B. That's so sweet. Yes. He sent me a card last year too. That's so cute. Oh, I love Zan. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, Zan. If you see this, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Hope you had a lovely Christmas. Oh, wow. Um, is this turning to just crying stream today? No, I am not planning on shedding any tears. Okay, thank you very much. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, HXC with the 12 months a whole year, dude! Happy 2022, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, my parents said it was like negative 45 Celsius or something like that for them or something. Looney Stroke? What is this? Uh, really drink it and not have... Oh. Really <laughs> That's just me when I drink coffee or have caffeine. I go into freaking Chihuahua mode. Here, let me check to see exactly what it said. What they said there. There. It, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's negative 33 Celsius, but it feels like negative 45. So that's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing. Manitoba doesn't count, streamer. Okay. Then. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, no. I did not get a chance to try the kitties today. I wanted to, like, what's that in Fahrenheit? C in F. Uh, negative 49 Fahrenheit. So. Yeah. Uh, I did not get a chance to try the cats today. I had to do, I didn't get a chance to try one of the loose leaves, and I didn't even get a chance to last night because I ended up going into work mode and I, I ended up editing and filming some stuff and I got totally distracted and I was like, I could really go for a cup of tea right now. And I never made it, so I was really sad. But I do have some tea. I, I had to do my lazy ladies tea today because I wanted to get some right before stream and I didn't get a chance to get it all sorted out yet. I have to clean the cats. I have to clean, I have to wash the kitties first and uh, figure out how to use the diffuser, which I feel like would take a solid 15 minutes <laughs> that I didn't have today, apparently. Oh, goodness. You have, you have cat to be kitten me right meow. Yes. My parents said that someone did like a grocery drop off for them and they weren't even home. They live in like the country or whatever. And they said because it was like freezing outside that it was just like leaving it in like the freezer. So the food was fine. They were gone and they, yeah, it was just, I thought that was funny. I liked it. It's pretty nice. You don't even need a freezer. Just go outside. Just put it outside. Uh, the way you were talking, I almost thought for a second you got cat. No, I got a tea infuser from uh, Miss Cookie Crisps and I got some amazing teas that I opened yesterday from Eno as well and Miss Cookie Crisps and also this one from Miss Cookie Crisps. So lots of tea. I have lots and lots of tea. I also got hot cocoa. I didn't even get to try anything yesterday, guys. After stream, or when the stream stopped and died, I sat here and I was like, what am I gonna work on? And I was like, ooh. 
I'm gonna film a manga unboxing video for TikTok slash Instagram. And I did, and I edited it. And I won't post it yet. I'm gonna, it's probably, I'm probably gonna post it in a few days. Um, but I will post it and I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, I don't expect it to get like, uh, it's just like more of like a passion project, kind of. Edited, edited. <laughs> Where'd I get the Itachi thing? This, my statue, I got from Games Animation Collectibles website. Is that what it's called? Yes. And this I got for Christmas. What manga do I read? I need I need recommendations. Uh, what kind do you like? I'm currently in the middle of reading Assassination Classroom, Berserk, and Blade of the Immortal. Which, by the way, I was checking to see what was on watch parties on Amazon, like Twitch watch parties things, and there's GTO on there. I was like, what? We can watch GTO together. That's fucking sick. There's also a Blade of the Immortal anime, which I was like, oh shit. I didn't know if it was like, I didn't know if I like, or I haven't really heard if it was good or not though. You should make a prompt like manga. I have, do I have this? I have that. Lunity's list of anime and manga. There you go. Um, mainly slice of life anime. Mm, you could try Blue Period. I finished watching Blue Period yesterday. I watched it while I ate. It was pretty good. Are we going to watch GTA? GTO. I've heard of Comey Can't Communicate. I haven't seen it yet though. I'm not sure if I'll get around to it. I'll probably watch that if I'm like feeling like, like I'm chilling. I'm randomly watching JoJo's. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it yet, but that's what I'm watching. <laughs> that is where we're at. I know, Spectrum, please. Uh, almost finished it. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it for what it was. I'm not sure if they're gonna continue it or not, but I liked it. I don't know how I feel about JoJo's, guys. It's weird to me. I'm like watching it as like a formality almost, but I'm kind of like so confused by it that I can't, I'm just still watching it. I, yeah, it, it's, it's weird. Cause like, as I'm watching it, yeah, it, I just feel like I can't take it seriously. It's odd. It's very odd. Um, I just got to... Uh, Joseph, I think? With the coke bottle and he shoots the coke bottle into a cop's face or something. That's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, it's me, Spectrum. No! Nope. Don't talk to me. Get out of here. Hi, Blizzard. I think JoJo's is overrated. So here, that that's kind of like why I'm watching it currently, because I want to see what the hype is all about. I want to see why everyone, there's so many people that really love JoJo's. And I'm like, I need to understand the second one. I'm on the second Joe. What are we talking about? Uh, anime a little bit right now. Talking about what I'm reading and watching currently. So yeah, I finished watching Blue Period last night and yeah, I guess I'm randomly watching JoJo's now. So that's where I'm at. Um, <clears throat> I kind of want to watch it just because I want to see like what the hype is all about. I'm also watching like, you know, Demon Slayer <clears throat> in between new episodes. Um, I've watched the entirety of Hunter, yes. Uh, ooh, that sounds like a lovely night, Bloodzer. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, hello, Rem. JoJo's gets good, still wild, but good. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Like, I have, like, some friends who are avidly, like, it, like, loving JoJo's. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, I'd like to talk to them about it or whatever. Um, at the same time, so that's, like, nice or whatever. But yeah. I have seen Attack on Titan. I'm ex- Oh! Attack- Wait, how many days? Uh, new Attack on Titan. I tweeted it a few days ago and I, I said four days. I think it comes out on Sunday, doesn't it? 
an oblige continuation soon. Ah! Oh, hey, Sunday. It's so close. I haven't seen ReZero. Full Metal Alchemist is on my list. I have not seen Haikyuu. Yeah, you know, Attack on Titan, we'll have to see. I'm like afraid of it. I'm kind of nervous about it. I'm scared. I'm scared for the ending of Attack on Titan. I'm, I really am. I haven't read the manga. I'm kind of just gonna wait it out. And I'm afraid. Hello, Abraham. I told you, Sash. I told you. I need to buy a second one, but they're all out of stock. We watching AOT in Discord? I would like to. I'd be down. Um... I think I am going to be busy on Sunday. I'm going to see family on Sunday. I'm not sure what time I'm going to be back. Do you guys know what time they air episodes? It's like at midnight, right? Shit. When do we watch it? Listen, United, there's a difference between do watching something amongst our small tight-knit community and watching it in front of 34,000 people <laughs> It's I know that you know There's just a little bit of a difference there. Okay <laughs> Hello internet vamp Just a little bit <laughs> Um. Let's see of his closest friends, of course um what was I gonna say? Attack on Titan in Discord. That's also true, I'm not making money off of it. That is true. <clears throat> do we have any scheduled maintenance? I really hope not. I was not informed if I do. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen at midnight, so. Uh, January 9th, 12.45 p.m. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, with the homies. Oh, guys, I. Uh, that's a topic I feel like I could go on about, and the entirety. Like, I've spent so much time thinking about different layers of this subject today that I am exhausted. I am exhausted. <laughs> Dude, the Minecraft- okay. I feel like what we need to do is we need to do this gender reveal from Agiri Gamers before my internet decides to freak out again. I felt so incredibly bad yesterday. It was literally the worst timing possible. No, 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 Brandon. I don't- you shouldn't apologize for that. I was gonna figure it out or I'm, I was gonna hear about it one way or another. Um, it was just like... You know, it's just news in the community, so I was gonna hear about it regardless. It's all good. I know, Sash. I, I know. Oh. No, it's okay. I would like for us to do it because I feel like I was, you know, I, I cliffhangered everybody yesterday. So, you know. The Minecraft server is better not. Uh, I might actually like anime. I started watching Sword Art Online FM and FMA Brotherhood. Let's go. I'm glad that you're liking it though. I hope you're liking it. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm just gonna revert to a monkey and start screaming at people. I'm just going to revert to being a monk and I am going to isolate myself from the entirety of the world and I'm gonna live on a mountaintop. That's what's gonna happen to me. Uh, no, actually, I didn't. Which mountaintop? Fuji. I'm living on Fuji's mountaintop. <laughs> I'm going to Mount Fuji. <laughs> I'm living there. No, I did not get to see the League uh, animated video. I have not seen Soul Eater, but I've heard of it. Uh... What did I make my title? What did I make my title yesterday? <clears throat> uh, 
Oh, is that on the way, United? What do I do for my title? Uh... Subscriber... Subscribe... Oh my god, I don't know. Subs? Baby gender reveal. I don't know. <laughs> what did I put last yesterday for my title? I don't remember. I'm just gonna say internet. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I never know what to put for my titles. <sighs> Spectrum, please be nice. Rage. Okay. I'm just gonna do that for now, okay? I'm just gonna do that for now. Okay. There's the entirety of the forest united? Really? I didn't know that. You didn't put it in the title if I remember? Okay, I wasn't too sure. Hi, IQ Tone! Okay, guys. We are going to resume from where we left off yesterday. And we are going to hop on to Minecraft. And we're going to- I am literally in the same spot as I was yesterday. Why is there TNT in a tower? Oh, are these little chairs for us to sit in? That's so cute! Huh? Alright, this is where I left off yesterday, so... Great. Love this for us. Love this for us. Oh god. Oh lord. Die. Die! No, don't touch me! Oh god! Eh. <laughs> Good start. Ow! Are these gonna just keep coming? Oh god, I'm scared to shoot at something that I'm not supposed to, like this TNT, perhaps? This is kind of terrifying. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Happy New Year to you too, IQ Tone! In case people thought you were the one expecting- Yes, true. <laughs> I can't see... Die... Okay. Anyways... Oops. Membranes... Okay! <clears throat> Where is everyone here? Or do I have to wait for everybody again? Or are we doing this? Or do you guys already know? Or what's happening? Get your booties over here if you would like. Not yet. I'm here. I'm not- I'm not here. Okay. Wait, are there new predictions on the board? Oh, there are new predictions. Girl, supporting girl power. Nibs thinks it's a girl. It's gonna be a shulker. <laughs> Little lad, 100% a boy. It be boy. B -b 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 boy. <laughs> I'm feeling a boy. Tiny dude. Defo's a boy, so your husband doesn't go crazy. All right, nobody shoot. Nobody shoot anything. I'm gonna empty my inventory, just so I feel safe. This is so cute. <laughs> This is adorable. Everyone's just having some seats. <laughs> this is so cute! No. Wait. I don't like this spot. I can't see as many. Oh, here we go. This is nice. <laughs> It'd be a person. She's having a baby. Alright. Anyone want snacks? Yes, actually, I do. I would love a snack. I love snacks. I have my tea. Let's see. Is it hot? Is this a Minecraft gender reveal party? It is. It is! One of my subs is expecting and she wanted to make a cute little gender reveal and we are... Uh, we are guessing. We are placed- we placed some guesses. Take several seats? Yes. Oh, Nums brought snacks! <laughs> That's so cute. I have potato chips. I have a baked potato. <sighs> yeah, this is much safer than, you know. I got my emotional supports Cheez-Its. Love it. <laughs> JM! <laughs> I am here, kinda. Logs out. He's back. Is mayonnaise a snack? Maybe. Why did it log out? I don't know. Uh, who are we missing? 
Who else wanted to join us? Oh, Savik is here. Wait, that hat is so cute. That hat is adorable. How do you have, how do you have that? That's so cute. Is everyone here? Is everyone here? Is everyone here? Question mark? I, I'm not sure how that got on me actually. You don't know how you have that hat? What? Oh, Centurion? Okay, for sure. All right, okay. <laughs> This trident is making me nervous. This is so cute. We're so cute. This is my favorite loony hairstyle. Thank you. I'm trying to get used to it. I'm still a, you know, the whole baby hairs thing. I'm trying to get used to, but. Whoa! What are we doing? We are checking out one of our subs' gender reveals for her baby. So, Agiri Gamers is expecting, and she's doing a lovely little gender reveal for her little baby. Middle part for second day in a row, Pog! At the snowman, yes. At the snowman. How come this tree is here? Why is there a tree? Oh, Weldon's here! I got my vitamin water and cheese. Dude, this cent this centro, this TNT is making me nervous. Let's see. All right, I'm scared. I didn't miss it. You're here. Clip this to show to her baby when he she grows up. <gasps> That'd be so cute, little baby Agiri gamers. Oh, we love you so much. You are so very loved by the Looniverse. <laughs> I know the tree is sus. Okay. Is everyone here? Is Centurion here? Centurion is here? Have we all arrived? Anyone missing? Anyone missing? Final call. All right. You guys ready? Can we actually arrive if we don't really already know the destiny? <laughs> I don't know. Don't give me your... What the f Gold nuggets, dude? Um... <clears throat> okay, everyone together needs to shoot at the target blocks on the third... On the color of the fireworks will reveal the gender. Wait. Needs to shoot at the target blocks. On the... And... Wait. On the color? Of the firework. Wait. Oh, sh on three. Okay. The color of the fireworks will reveal the gender. Okay. I'm gonna let you guys shoot. I'm gonna watch because I want to see this. Pepega brain came back just in time. Perfect. Okay. All right. Feel free to do the honors, guys. Wait. 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 Not yet. Not yet. Make sure you wait till she counts to three. Make sure she waits to count to three. JM's doing his best. He's trying so hard. <laughs> All right, let Agiri, okay, here it goes. One, two, three. Okay, it's happening, it's gonna happen. Okay, everyone, they're doing it. Oh, <gasps> it's gonna be a girl, I guess right. Oh, that's so cute. I'm getting teary-eyed, I don't know why, but that's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh, another beautiful girl. Oh, is it too late to vote? <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh, I would have won so many channel points, Spectrum. <laughs> oh my god, dude, these fireworks. Oh, that's amazing. I love the Pokeball burning. Spectrum, how could you? 
Oh, congratulations, Agiri Gamers. That's so exciting. I feel like baby girls are just so cute. They're just like so precious. No offense, baby boys. You guys are cute too, I guess, but baby girls just hit different. I don't know. They're so cute. They're so cute. Congratulations. Oh, wow. That was so nice. <laughs> Kaden. <laughs> Have you guys seen a cute little baby girl with the bows? Oh! It's just beautiful. So cute. They're so cute. I love it. Has to deal with three women in the house? True. That's what my dad had to deal with too, so. Super excited for girl number two. Me too. Oh, her name is Jody. That's so cute. <laughs> Oh, I love! Oh, I'm so, like, my heart, dude. I love it. I absolutely love it. This was really cute. This is a really cute idea. Like, this whole gender reveal thing safely in Minecraft. It's nice. This is nice. <laughs> Very wholesome. Oh. oh congratulations, Agiri Gamers. Yay! This is really cute too. I like the touch of the, the seats. Very nice. It's a... <laughs> JM. Team girl. <laughs> wow! So nice! Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. And we can keep the Pokeball here for memories! Girls are so loving until they become teenagers. True. Once they're teenagers... Oh boy. Now have the dragon pop out of the ball and kill everyone. Mr. Sashenka. I'm scared. I'm not here. Oh my god. What has happened? Why is this happening? What is happening? Am I uncreative? I don't know. All right, that was beautiful. Well, I know once they're teens, just fucking pray. Like, actually, like, lowered. Oh, it's still, is it still actually going off? That's so cool. Love it. <laughs> oh, Sabik's like, I must, Repair. <laughs> oh. Build a platform under the Pokeball and have it hover. Yeah, that'd be really cool. A glass platform or something? Who changed their vote? I meant girl. <laughs> oh, super cute. This was really nice, guys. All right, back to the regularly scheduled programming. On today's episode of Streaming with Lunity, I don't know, on Lunity stream, uh, we have to build a storage unit for our stuff because I do not have a place for my belongings other than That's a lot of coal. I'm gonna have This is amazing Amazing Perfect Okay Aside from this, this is the only storage I currently have, and I have an abundance of ridiculous amounts of shulker boxes that need to be sorted and put away and all of that stuff. Yes, the tunnel of the mine is completed. JM has drowned. He is not invincible after all. Wait, Mary Lake Christmas. <clears throat> this is new. Another star? Wow, I'll keep that there. I'll keep that there for now, thank you so much. I'm very confused as to uh, why Amazon put that tea box in such a huge envelope. I don't know either. <laughs> Amazon has very questionable shipping methods sometimes. Did Santa give me that? He might have. Did Looney notice the chest? I just did. Valo, thank you so much. What do I do with nether stars again? <laughs> I forgot. Good morning. All right, 
safe. Yeah, I don't like having really- Oh, for beacons! That's right! <gasps> Thanks, Fallow. No worries, Charities. Take your time. The the stream, or I mean the, the server will be here <clears throat> whenever for you to play on it. Feel free to hop on whenever you'd like. Amazon is pretty weird with their packaging and stuff. Hello, Zed! I'm doing well! How are you? Okay, I am going to sleep. <clears throat> and... Let's see, what else? Oh! 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 I love it! Thank you! Thank you so much! Oh! My sticky keys, goddammit. <laughs> Thank you! It's so shiny. Okay, I will wait for those phantoms to die. I don't know, I don't know how to not have them on. Uh-oh, Valo, please move! Oh my god. He's stressing me out with that. <laughs> I was like, please do not die. Please do not get blown up by this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> All I see is a creeper behind him and he stopped and I panicked. I was like, oh hell no. Oh hell no. I have a bunch of creepers over here. Excuse me. This is my territory and you are trespassing. Thank you. When the sticky key pr prompts, it has an option to take it to the settings to turn them off. Oh. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> Die! Demon child. Okay. Anyways. We will be making our storage building right here. Hey. Someone stole one of my blocks. Who stole my block? Did Valo steal my block? <laughs> he stole my block. Hey. Alright, I'll just take it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Maybe. <laughs> Creeper Central. All right. Oh, it was you this time. I thought it wasn't meant to be there. No, all of these are here because I placed them here. It's literally a thumbnail on a VOD for YouTube. Is it? Oh no. Watched old ones when stream crashed yesterday. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. You didn't care about his well-being, you just cared about the property damage. That is Luna T in real life right there. Um, true. <laughs> okay, I have to figure out a storage building here. So, ideally, I would like to make, um, like I would like to have, um, I'm trying to think of how I would want this to... Okay, I'm gonna use leaves for my building blocks for whatever reason. Yes, Sashenka? <laughs> Hello? Um, so I'm gonna be building a room. Yes, Jose, I did see. Um, and it could be a multi-storage multi level if I would like. Hello, Siglight. Hi. Um, I'm trying to think of how I would do this. So this would be, like I'm trying to think of how I would store the, um, the chests, right? So I could put chests like this. <clears throat> and then I would need to put other chests like here. Right, up until here. Um, <clears throat> so, what are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Wait, what the? Alright, this goes here. I miscalculated. Oh, 
Dang it. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> Hi, Froggy. Mm, yeah, no worries, charities. Uh, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I think it's good to have things be not even numbers because then I have a center. Thanks, Brandon. <clears throat> if it had a gift receipt, could return it and get something else you want. Maybe towards that other Honda Honda 64 expensive dollar set. I'll have to check. I'll have to see if I can do something about it. But that's I'm so sorry. It's a duplicate. Agiri, I mean Agiri gamers. Um, it's Cookie Crisps. Uh, but we can figure something out. I'll figure something out. Unless I want a double door. True. Hmm. Oh, I kind of want this to like, I wanted to, I'm thinking of having like also like a triangular feel to it just to match, but I don't really like this. My stream froze and I got this. Oh boy, that's a good look. Um. Can I play? It's a sub server. I'm sorry. Um, or it's a private server. I'm like debating on if I just want this to be like an open storage like building or something, but not really. <clears throat> Cause like, shoot, this being like this far out, it looks kind of like, like I don't feel like I'm gonna have a whole lot of storage somehow. What we build in now, we are building a storage room. <clears throat> We're building a storage room. Um, what about an underground one? I always make underground ones. And I feel like it's too easy. And I would like to have a building here. I feel like a building here would be really nice. Can I help you? <laughs> a place to store bodies. Mm, yes, yes. <clears throat> What is happening? What is happening? I can't even focus. I constantly have people just doing these shenanigannies. <sighs> Guys. Uh, making it rain? Oh, good lord. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think, guys. Huh. A treehouse built with some cool chiseled spruce stairs. I'm trying to think, that gave me an idea. Can I not have anvils stacking in front of me, please, and thank you? Um, do I want some copper? I'm okay on copper. I don't think I'm gonna be building with copper. <clears throat> um... That was kind of like a fun idea. I'm thinking of it in my brain. All right, paint time. I'm still thinking like cottage house vibes. I'm not sure what I'm thinking though. How about an auto sorter in a cottage? Uh, an auto sorter. Okay, hear me out. So I have stairs in mind. Stairs. Oh boy. So these are stairs, okay? Just imagine these are stairs that go up. That looks stupid. <clears throat> um, but I kind of like, okay. 
And then this is gonna be like a little fence post, fence post. And I'm kind of like thinking of making it like on beams or something. And like this is like all kind of like, you know, like this is just gonna be a whole beam. So this is kind of like, like you know how there's like cabins that kind of have that? You know what I mean? Up until now, that could be a bridge. Okay, this is, these are stairs. Okay, stairs. <laughs> yeah, a veranda. Yes. However, if I'm doing a veranda, I'm gonna need to make it a little bigger. Like, I'm thinking, ooh, the problem with a veranda and a pro the problem with if I, oh, hang on, I, I made this too high up here, I need to move this. The problem with I can't build down if I do this because there's like this empty space over here, right? Hi, Stuke. Yeah, auto sorters take up a lot of space. But, um, so I'm trying to, I don't know what to do with the roof though. The roof is always the problem. I could just go for like, you know. You can put basement windows under the veranda. Like, uh, oh yeah. I could do, uh, birch trapdoors. That could be a thing. <clears throat> Oak trapdoors could be a thing as well. I was kind of thinking, uh, for some reason I was thinking of the birch ones because it has like that, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe I just go for this, but this isn't like the vibe that I was going for. I'm like, I like the, the curved look, okay? But it's not like the theme. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be able to see through it though, to be honest. Uh, Centurion, thank you so much for the five months. Oh, hey, five months. Thank you so much for the sub server, Looney. Wait, uh, it's nighttime. I can't be out here in case there's a creeper. One moment. Um, I appreciate having an amazing community to play with. Oh, thank you so much, whoever slept. Thank you for being a part of his century and thank you for the five months. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ando. <laughs> I'm assuming you were the one that slept. <clears throat> I might have to make this bigger is the only thing. Like if I'm doing a whole veranda thing. No, I did the dong. Everyone slept. I might have to make it bigger, which I don't know if I want to. That should help somewhat in spooking them away. Okay, thank you, Sash. <laughs> oh, I don't, I like the tree. I guess I could replant the trees, but man. What about a steep A-frame roof? It's the type where the edge of the roof goes all the way down to the ground. I was kind of thinking something like that, like, you know, kind of like this, but I don't know if I like how it looks where it goes all the way to the ground. Um, so let me... Can I undo this? Ah, oh. Redo. I'll just erase. Um. Remember, wasn't there a time where you could make the eraser bigger if you just press like plus sign? I miss those days. I don't know if that still exists. So if, say I were to do a steep, a steep, I can't, okay, a steep 
I, I, it's too, you know. Like, I, I don't know. It would have to be more like, like this versus this, but a one-sided sloped roof. Hmm. Okay, Centurion. Sounds good. I don't know if I'll need to, but... Hmm. So you're saying like a one-sided like that? That could be interesting. I kind of like the idea of like the swoop-de-whoop -whoop, though. Like, especially with this and the veranda, like... Oh. I'm getting, I'm seeing it in my head, but it's not the vibe that I'm like, it's not part of the theme. And I kind of want to stay on the theme. Stair block, stair block. I know, Ando, but I want to go with cabin because I'm going for cabin vibe. So maybe I just do the classic with like log, but it's, squares so the typical like I do the same you know <clears throat> I like this though I like how this looks I could even mm. part of me likes the idea of keeping it open but that sounds dangerous but I kind of want to keep it open like what if I left this open and it's just like... Oh god. Like this, you know? Or whatever. Glass roof? No, no, no. That definitely doesn't fit the vibe. Thank you, Greed. Um, I'm not sure. Kind of like a giant gazebo, but I I might want to like keep these walls like these are actually like filled in, but keep like the main entrance like open, kind of. Could do fence gates every second block in height would make the room safe. Mm, I think I get what you're saying. I just feel like if I light up this area like well that I shouldn't like if I light the area around me well I shouldn't have any spawns right. So I feel like I could make this I could have this work and then this is just gonna be like a wooden beam down here. Or whatever and then it's just kind of you know that doesn't seem like that makes any sense but you guys get what I'm saying you guys get what I'm going for hopefully I don't know if this gives cabin cabin vibes or not but I'm gonna try it um I think I want to make these brown though, like this spruce. I think I want the floor to be spruce and then I'm gonna do like this in potentially spruce or dark oak and this will be walls of deep slate. Okay, this is the photo, this is the plan. Now let's get to building. All right, let's see how we can visualize this into reality. All right, now make it come to life. Exactly. Oh God. <laughs> Stressed already. Okay. 
I think... I'm gonna start with stairs. I'm, I need to start with emptying out my inventory. I'm gonna... I'm gonna put down the stairs so I can see how that looks and kind of like just visualize what it's gonna look like, right? We have to start somewhere and I think that could be a good start. What did I make this out of? Dark oak. So I want to use similar or the same materials as this build. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Alright. I'm gonna be needing this, so this I will be taking with me. The rest we can kind of keep. Oh, dark oak is important. Uh, let me empty out this stuff, because we don't need these immediately. Uh-oh, wait, where's my green? I need, I need... Alright. Uh... Okay. I need this, I think? And I need some of this. Crap, okay. First, we're organizing. Just copy and paste it. Yeah, just copy and paste. All good. Oh, wait. Uh, never mind. Not sure what I'm saying. I'm thinking. Okay. Um, your local Kuya. Thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back to the Looniverse, dude. It's so good to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, goodness. Okay. I have no idea what's what anymore. My inventory is so whack. Okay. Deep slate. That's the Pepega deep slate. What are you? random stuff. Okay. I'm gonna make this my leaves slash like miscellaneous thing. Don't know how to explain. But this is gonna be the moss. This is the moss. Canali also with the 21 months. Thank you so much. Welcome back. Hello, Shakira. Waka waka. What's up? Good to see ya. Hello, hello. Um, num, 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 num. Okay, I need this because I'm gonna dye this also a green color because these are both going to be my planty kind of boxes. So anything regarding plants will go in there, whether it's decoration or whatever. We'll put it in there and everything that has to do with moss and stuff, we'll put it into this one. This is the moss thing. Uh, yo, Lynn! Thank you so much for the host. What's up, girl? I appreciate it. I hope you had a good stream. T-Y-T-Y. -T -Y. Uh, let me take these out here. And there's the raid as well. Thank you so much. How was your stream, Lynn? I hope you had a good time. Hi, guys. Welcome on in, gamers. We are starting a new build. I am currently organizing my stuff, and I am incredibly overwhelmed. How are you all doing? I finished the Nonary Games 999. My brain is fried from the story. It's so good. What is that? Oh, wait. Wait, what is that? I've never heard of that before. Uh, oh, Zero Escape 999. Yo, JM, thank you for giving us up to Lynn. I appreciate it. I haven't heard of that before. What, is, what kind of game is that? I'm assuming story game, but... Oh, they're like virtual novels with puzzles? Dude, that sounds cool. It's like Saw, but not gory, so like escape rooms plus anime drama stuff? That sounds like fun. That sounds intriguing. That sounds fun. Story was so cool, TBH. And a bit of fan service, just sprinkle that in there a little bit. That sounds sick, dude. If you ever want a game, you should try it. Is it like a long story or is it like a long game or is it like a short playthrough kind of thing? 
You guys need to follow Lynn, by the way, in case you haven't yet. Make sure you give her a follow because she does a lot of really awesome variety content, but also she does amazing Beat Saber, Feet Saber, uh, dancing streams, uh, just dance streams is what I meant to say. She's freaking sick. She's so talented. She's awesome. You guys need to follow her. It's three games. Okay. Hello, Lord Gain. Welcome. It has multiple endings. All endings were 23 hours for me, but you can skip stuff over until you get to the new stuff. Ooh. That sounds so cool, though. I'm gonna have to, uh... I'm gonna take a picture of what you were streaming, and I'm gonna keep that in mind. So it's like a short playthrough kind of thing. Short-ish. Cause like, if it's all endings, that's a pretty decent, that's a sizable amount of time, right? Okay, I'm gonna put this in here. Anything that is wood and deep slate, I will put into their own respective boxes. Hmm. Blackstone does not belong. Oh my god. My inventory! Help. Ooh, what do I do with this stuff? Yikes. Mob heads are still active, by the way. Oh, are they not supposed to be? Uh, it was really worth it, and it's voice acted, so you kind of just read the narration out loud, really. Uh, oh, interesting. The time is gonna be based largely on how good you are at puzzles and a couple other things that would probably be spoilers, so I'll shut up now. <laughs> okay. Super fun game to watch. Ooh, okay. I'll have to take a look into it. it sounds like really cool. Oops. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, welcome on in. My name is Lunity. I do a lot of Minecraft streams. Um, we also do some, we sprinkle in some variety here and there occasionally, you know, if we're feeling like playing something we really want to play, we don't shy away from trying out stuff, you know? Um, I'm gonna be playing, uh, what's it called? Legend of Arceus later this month. I'm so freaking excited for when that comes out, guys. I'm super stoked. Uh, so I'm planning on doing that. And uh, otherwise, we just kind of hang out, you know, we chill chat about a lot of stuff while we stream Minecraft and hang out and build things. That's pretty much the gist of the stream. That's pretty much what you get over here. Just a bunch of random stuff. Where should I send a link with an idea for your build? Uh, are you in the Discord, Brandon? Actually, you have a, you have a sub, so you can post a link. Uh, is that the Souls game? No, it's the Pokemon game. Um, the Souls game will be February, I believe, which I'm stoked on as well. Super hyped. So we'll be playing Elden Ring when that comes out. Hell fucking yeah. Um, what else? Lost Ark? I'm not familiar with it, so no. I guess not. My inventory is so trash. <laughs> ah, I hate it. Oh, free MMO. A lot of people are saying things like it's the most fun I've had since Vanilla WoW. Hmm. And it was, what does that mean? Yeah, I yeah, we played through almost the absolute entirety of Stardew Valley. We were so close to 100%ing it, and the, oh my god, this is the box with all the leaves. And then I realized that something that I needed to do, I missed in one of the years, and I was like, no. So I was really sad. Diablo MMO? Hmm. I'm not sure if I'll play it. Honestly, when it comes to MMOs, I like I feel like I haven't been super like 
interested in playing just because like I don't have like like a uh oh oh god what's happening is it just this that's bugging out okay like I feel like the best part about MMOs is like grinding it with friends and I mean I could like we could do like a whole community thing where it's like oh yeah like Looniverse plays whatever it's called which is fine, but I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know. It's free to play as well. Hi, Mahi. Good night, Ma. Uh, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, if it coincides with, or what's it called? Oh, you did post it here? Okay, sorry. Thank you so much. Um, what is this? Rooftops? Oh, yeah. Five best house roof ideas for Minecraft 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update. Oh, my goodness. MMOs aren't, aren't great stream games, especially if you aren't already in that space. That's exactly it. I feel like... I love MMOs, but I feel like me streaming a grindy game just doesn't do well for my stream, and it doesn't do well for, like, me. I feel like I could no life a game like Genshin so hard, but I just don't feel like it's interesting to watch. I feel like that's why I've stuck with streaming um, Minecraft lately so much, because I feel like I can truly... Like, this is, like, the best form of me content-wise that I can really give. Like, I can build things, I can let my creative brain kind of, like, just do its thing, and I can also... This looks crazy. I can also freely talk about things without even, um, thinking too much about it or whatever. But, yeah, I don't know. So... Free-to-play MMOs are never really free. They often have tons of microtransactions. Well, yeah, obviously, but like free to get started, of course. Um, I had a specific one that didn't show up. Oh, well, what the heck? Your streams are just chatting with the game background? Yeah, pretty much, honestly. <laughs> so if I'm playing something that requires like so much more of my attention, it already takes away from that a little bit. These rooftops are great. But I think for this specific build, I'm going to be going for um, similar vibe of what I have here. So, yeah, I don't know. I love MMOs, though. I do. It's just not stream content for me or st like streamy stuff. Hey, Lackle, continuing the gifted sub that you got from JK. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, I think I think I have this more or less organized to kind of what I was hoping for. Um, all right, I think maybe I should get I had brown dye somewhere. This is why. I, okay, here I'm gonna brown dye this one because this is for wood. Oops ugly brown shulker box and uh, I guess I'm moving all of this stuff into this box because I didn't realize they were all in that box right there okay why is this stuck like this it's weirding me out um so yeah I don't know are you posted in pleb discord Did this work? Oh yeah, no, I saw that one. But I'm not trying to go for like the, the rounded rooftop, you know? Like I'd love to build that, just not in this area. Because in this area I have like, I wanna, I like building in themes. Cause if I don't build in themes or when I build in themes, I feel like it, it's like a cohesive area. Like it's all meant to be here, you know? Like I like that these are similar uh, materials to my main build and I have like my little horses now I have a donkey <laughs> okay and I, I just feel like it, it feels more put together you know like this and similar to 
the um yes hello similar to my mine shaft and everything oh no i guess i it was at the top of the article or whatever okay the donkey has a chest i know maybe there's something in it The fox always wants to try to get out. Wait, how do I open the... Oh! oh Zendy! <laughs> I was like, I've seen one of these before and I can't remember where exactly. This was your stone drop-off! That's why you named him Stoner! <laughs> oh my goodness, Cam, not ready for that project yet. Is it okay if I keep him here for now? Or would you like for me to empty it out and return? <laughs> oh... Okay, the stone delivery. Oh, a little something? Oh, what? Ando, I don't even, present of the sea. I didn't even know this was here. Thank you so much, Ando, I appreciate it. Wow, my very first trident? I've never owned a trident before. He's your problem now? <laughs> okay. Oh, Violet, you're too sweet. You're too sweet, thanks. Um, dang, this is crazy. Yeah, I've never in my life had a trident before. Was waiting there for like four days? Are you serious? What? Oh my God, I didn't even realize. It just like blended in nicely. How has it been here for four days? How embarrassing. <laughs> I got the trident the other day, then I died. <laughs> that sounds pretty on brand. <laughs> Sorry to hear it, Sash. Thank you, Bobby John. Tridents are so clutch. I've never had one in my life. I gave you one on the old sub server. You just never logged in to get it. Aww. As I die? Why are you dying? Okay, I wanted to put bone meal and stuff in here in case I needed to. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to figure out my, my life right now. This is my miscellaneous chest. My I don't care what I'm putting in here, it's going in here chest, okay? Okay. Uh, Axolotl spawn in your cave? They should, I believe. They're hard, I've never used one. I have never used a single one. So, yeah, I've never used a trident in my life, so I'm sure me, <laughs> Using one will be great. Okay, do I have everything I need? Yes. Mm. Sure. Oh, I'm gonna need this potentially and one of these. Okay. Make sure you have feather falling. Check. Good to go. Uh, if you launch yourself into the air with the trident, you can glide if you're wearing an elytra. Well, that's interesting. Okay. I'm gonna put my building stuff here. Wait, why do I have an empty shulker box? Okay, that's gonna be my discard shulker box if I get overwhelmed and I have too much crap. All right, um, crafting table and stone cutter will go here. All right. Charging creepers, like my nightmare. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. So if you're just tuning in, or you just tuned in a few minutes ago, we have a building plan. All right, let me actually change my title. Yes, of course, Lynn, are you kidding me? Thank you so much for the lovely raid once again. I appreciate you, ma'am. Have yourself a lovely sleep or a good rest. Get yourself some food if you need to, whatever you gotta do. Love you lots. Take care. Make sure you guys follow Lynn if you haven't yet. Uh, okay, building our storage. 
hut. <laughs> Yo, Split, thank you for the 10 months, man. I opened stream and heard. So if you're just tuning in, perfect timing. Absolutely perfect. So if you're just tuning in, like, like Split over here, let me tell you what we're up to today. So we're gonna be building apparently our storage hut. I decided I'm calling it a storage hut because that is exactly what it's gonna be. Uh, and this is what we're gonna be making. This is kind of what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be made out of spruce, dark oak, deep slate. What is my favorite anime? My favorite anime is Steins Gate. It's my favorite of all time. Um, so that's the one. Show me the floor I built behind me? Sure. Um, I just, it's just a deep slate pathway. The face for the thought of build our storage build. <laughs> I know, I was like, huh? I'm doing well today, Split. How are you, dude? You should also make a mushroom themed cottage. Ugh, I've seen those and they're so cute. I'm kind of sticking to like this palette over in this corner here. So this is kind of like the color scheme that I've got going on, the the materials that I'm using. So I'm gonna be doing something similar for that. Did you hear they are making a new spin-off series of Steins Gate? What? How so? That sounds crazy. So this is what we're gonna be doing for today. And potentially the next few days because I take forever to make, build things, make things, <laughs> whatever it is I do takes five years. Okay, let's make some stairs because that's where we're gonna start with. Um, mushroom fairy fantasy village in a terraform deep slate giant cave. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Up way past my bedtime, but I'm off tomorrow, so it's cool. Ooh, hell yeah. Hope you have a good day off, dude. Okay, so the plan is I kind of want to have enough space to where I can like use the stairs freely and whatever. So this might not be the exact spot that this is going to be and I might have to do some terraforming depending on how big this hut is going to end up being. But that's okay. That's fine. I have mail in my, the post office or here? Oh. Sugarcane and gunpowder. Ooh, I will have... Flight for days. Thank you so much, Century, and I appreciate it. T.Y. Okay. So. <laughs> huh. I haven't thought very far into this. But. I think this is where my veranda is going to start. <laughs> Uh, I think. Yes. Um. Thinking. <laughs> Thinking face. Okay, I think... <laughs> I'm not sure. You good? You okay? <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm using my brain. This is what I look like when I'm using my brain, okay? I'm sorry. It hurts. Brain? What is brain? Okay. Uh. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of me just doing exactly this. I. Okay, so in my mind. Right? In my mind. Uh, 
Am I gonna use, I guess I'm using the tiled deep slate. Maybe, I don't know if I wanna use tiled or the brick wall. <laughs> Shut up, don't call me baby hairs. I'm self-conscious about these things, you know? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm dead. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have you guys help me decide. <laughs> okay. Alright, in my mind, I was like, ooh, fences here will be great. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't know. But that's why we just have to try it. Uh, all right, so the only problem <laughs> Hi nice guy, um All four of them. <laughs> Hello moss boy, I'm not sure. Okay, so okay. Okay. Okay One step at a time Looney one step at a time I need- oh no! <gasps> ah! This is going against all of my ideas and my hopes and my dreams. <sighs> okay. I may have to alter the idea already. That's okay. I was I was thinking to myself, I was like, shoot, do they connect or not? And they don't. So now that that's the thing, all right, we are adjusting. We are adjusting our plans. It's okay. No problem. We just have to adapt and overcome. Yes, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm either gonna have this and we'll connect gates instead. However, I'm not sure which one to use and I need your help. Chat can help me decide. Okay. So, good thing I have sticks with me. Okay. Um, <laughs> gates. Nope. All right, let's let's try this for now. Um. Damn it. <laughs> God. Ah. Oh. Hey. All right. I have to. All right. All right. Okay. So. Thinking. I'm thinking. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'll just make more. It's okay. Uh. Okay. Why aren't they the same height? Because gates just have this weird interaction with walls like this, and I kind of like it. I like that they're different. It makes it look kind of nice. I actually like that feature. Um, I probably- oh, hello. I am a smart person. I hope we didn't need night time. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't do that with fences. It only does this with stone-like walls. So, my question is... Uh, why are- <sighs> Okay. Do we do the left? Do you guys like the left side or the right side? Mind you, I don't know. I'm gonna- maybe what we'll do is we'll keep it like this for now, and we can choose later.
because I think they both look good. However, I think I need to do this. And I think I need to put the same thing here. Right might get a bit too dark maybe. Yeah, the reason I'm choosing or thinking about right is because um, it's the same, it, like, I seemingly you. oh, I thought this was all tiled for some reason. Interesting developments. Very interesting. Okay. No. So far, so good. Now I just have to figure out... I just hope I can make this big enough to where, like, the the scale of everything will make sense. Because in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm gonna use fences and have it, like, have li little delicate, um, delicate little, uh, like, posts or whatever. And I'm not sure if... I mean, I could go for something like that. I'm just not entirely... 100% on it. Okay, so in my mind, this is about the amount of space. Do you guys think I should do one or two? If I do two, I'm severely limiting Like, as of right now, this is the inside of the building. Like, where the these pillars are, that is, like, how much interior space I have. Because that's gonna be where it's gonna connect wall to wall and stuff. Yes, I do uh, wear contacts. Yes. My fear is that that's not going to be enough space for me to do a storage. Mind you, I could have... I could put, you know, like a staircase that goes down into a further whatever. But, I don't know. Welcome on in, rollers. Oops. Okay, I need a lot more of this stuff. A lot more of the goods. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna have to be much bigger, which is okay. It's just we're gonna have to make some accommodations. Adapt and overcome, right chat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this. Do you love Minecraft truly? I enjoy it. I think it's fun. I don't know about love it truly. Also, I think below here is like where my luscious cave stuff is. So I don't know how f deep into the thing I have until I reach that. Okay. Now. 300 meters. Hmm. She hates it, but it's good for stream. <laughs> Imagine. I just hate in my life every day playing Minecraft. My God. I like it a lot. I'm not like obsessed with it, but I enjoy very much playing it, yes. <laughs> Minecraft and truly hard seltzer on the other hand. <laughs> oh jeez. In your opinion, why is a specific game so popular? Because there's like endless possibilities with it. There's so many different varieties uh, or ways to play it. 
There's like different game modes. It's like a sandbox game. So I feel like sandbox games generally are pretty popular. It's accessible. It's not like free, but I feel like a lot of people, <laughs> fake fan. I feel like a lot of, it's just like, I don't know. I, it's a survival game. I feel like survival games generally do pretty well. It's simple, but complicated. Like it has a lot of simplicity to it, but at the same time it can be like as complicated as you want it. So there's a lot of like, there's a lot of opportunity and I don't know. There's just like a lot to it, you know? Easy to learn, hard to master. <laughs> There you have it. Okay. Gonna have to get rid of this tree, sadly. I'm so sorry. Man, I feel like I would have really enjoyed if I did like a two wide thing. Um. Well. So if I make it this size, this is the amount of space that I have for storage, which is not very much because if I put chests here, talk shit about this game like what the fuck is the appeal until I hopped in a server and it's like leveling up and building shit almost MMO like yeah there's just like endless possibilities with it you know I'm drunk just asking questions it's cool <laughs> it's cool yeah the community aspect is really nice too this or PUBG since we're talking survival I've never played PUBG personally so I can't really give like my opinion on that I guess too small All right, we can we can go bigger. We can we can do more. Maybe The Walking Dead. Do mm. you mean like the Telltale game? Cause I don't feel like that counts. Oh, like Valheim. Yeah, I feel like those are very like hand in hand. I don't know. Maybe it's a different or that's like more battle royale versus like. Or wait, wait. You said The Walking Dead. I mean, it's like survival but I wouldn't call it like, you know, yeah, more battle royale. And yeah, I'd say it's more along like the lines of like, you know, what people are saying, like Raft, Rust, Valheim, especially, like those are like very similar. <clears throat> Endless until you try to make a wheel. You can make a wheel in Minecraft. You can make anything you want. You can make circular things out of squares. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah. There's endless possibilities, I'm telling ya. But I feel like that's what gets me to continue playing Minecraft because I can just like, I just need to think of an idea. And then it's like, oh, okay. I have an idea, a different idea. I decided I'm probably gonna make my chests this way instead. Instead of on the back wall. It also doesn't hurt that it's good for viewership, exactly. That is, that is a nice bonus. That adds a lot to it as a streamer, <laughs> for sure. I don't know what this, what it, it, what is this game is really relaxing and draws you in. That's what I'm saying, right? I don't know. It also like has like, because there's nothing like necessarily actively happening, like it's up to me on if I want something going on or not, right? Whereas if I'm like playing a game of League, I have to like, I'm at the mercy of the game and I have to focus 
and like give it my full attention or not, you know? <laughs> I can give it as much attention as I want, but um, obviously if I want to do well, it requires attention and stuff. But, um, yeah. I, I like that if I want, like, if we stumble across a topic that we really want to talk about, I can literally just stop and sit here and talk about it <laughs> if I need to, which is great. I like it. You're more of an FPS uh, type player, but this game is addicting. I know. I feel like Minecraft can just work for anyone. Okay, I feel like this should be plenty of space. Like if I think about it, and I add like walls here or whatever, let's say, and then this is gonna be, you know, chests. I feel like this is a decent amount of space and I could go further. I could have like a, a staircase that goes down if I want to for extended storage. I think this is good. I think this is a good size. Mind you, a little bigger than I wanted it to be, but it is fine. You'll have a cool... Oh. Um, two, three. It'll look pretty cool next to the water too. Like a little... beachfront property. I'm probably thinking too deeply, that's okay. Nothing wrong with thinking deeply about things. I enjoy a good thinking. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it adds a nice little something to it, I guess. I'm, I'm okay with it. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, embracing it. Central! Thanks for gifting a sub to J Chosen, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I can't do small storage areas. I have to do ones that hold every item. I just can't do small scale. I, I feel like I I have a hard time doing big scale look like but making it look good if that makes any sense <sighs> Ideally I love like large scale so I can just Fit everything and not have to worry about storage, but I This is how I am This is where we're at could always build a Walmart for storage. Oh, guys, I had, I have builds if you need ideas, I can supervise. <laughs> Sounds great. Um, I had a really cute, fun build idea, which is very out of the norm of my use, but I think it'd be fun to have like a corner of the world with it. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Hi, Megan Banana, the use. I'm not gonna say. All right, one. Oh. I still think a hockey rink that functions would be cool. So, say say that again, I missed it. Uh, oh, I just said that I have a, a fun idea that's like out of the norm for me. And it's, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably make it some time. Look at what Sash did with his, his skating rink. <laughs> He added some peeps, but I agree. I feel like it'd be really cool to do like a really big skating rink and have like the lines Like like the red lines and like the blue lines Minecraft related or stream related. Oh minecraft related build ideas <laughs> But I also have other ideas that are stream related that I am in the works of or whatever um, I actually kinda like this. Like I... <sighs> I don't know if I should... Oh, a net that has a hopper? That would actually be super cute. I'm like debating if I want this to be darker. Actually, no. Because I have an idea for this. Is there anything you can push around in Minecraft in place of a puck? Um, Cause like people could go on boats 
and like play hockey. Armor stance? Like if you play, if I play something like this, could you do that? Armor stand hockey? Is that a thing? Baby, t don't say baby turtle. <laughs> You're gonna get banned by me. Go to the nether. Oh, I don't. I don't want to go to the nether right now because I'm, I'm full on into this build right now. But they did it on Hermitcraft. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, hang on. One, two, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen? Guys, I don't know how to do this, okay? I'm trying to think of where I should put like separators for this. And I don't know how to do this. I don't know what to do with the information of there's 16 blocks. Do I do it every f four? Does that even make any sense? I don't know. I don't know what to use. I don't know what to do with this information. My head hurts. The center is one, two, three, four, five, six. Is there no cent- there's no center. Yeah, I'm thinking of where to put pillars. Or am I stupid? I'm really bad at math. Really, really bad. One, two, three, four, five. But if I put one just here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Uh, I sent you a screenshot build I'm doing in Minecraft on Instagram. Oh, I don't really actually check my Instagram DMs though, unfortunately. I have like all my DMs closed everywhere. Is boat hockey possible in this game? Because I am down. I feel like we need to do that. I think that would be a really fun community build too. To make like a decently sized like hockey rink. I mean, I don't even think that would be that big. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. If you do five, four, five, it's symmetrical. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hopefully that's fine. Someone used a modded invincible chi invisible chicken and swords. Bro. Uh, okay, yeah. These armor stands don't slide at all on ice. Oh, do they not? One, two, three, four, five? Right? Is this the spot? <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So this is gonna be a little different on this side. take me like 10 seconds to go from blue line to blue that's the only hockey term I know thanks mighty ducks <laughs> yeah I feel like we would have to figure out like the scale of it but I don't think it'd be that hard to make we would just have to I don't know how big we would have to make it is the only thing okay I feel like Oh, 
Oh no! Okay, I like this build, but now I'm kind of sad because I'm realizing some things. I realize I'm not able to put the depth that I wanted to put in here. Does my shirt glow in the dark? I freaking wish. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Have yourself a good night, Agiri Gamers. Thank you so much, of course. I'm so excited for you, girl. Congratulations once again. <sighs> wow. Okay, I could use trapdoors. I could use walls. Yeah, that was really fun. Thank you so much. Okay. I, because I don't want to actually use... All right, hold on. I need more dark oak. Yeah. Walls. <laughs> I knew I smelled smoke. She's thinking. Oh my god. Um. Need more of this. Okay. All right, so I'm not entirely sure what it is that I'm doing, but I'm kind of just rolling with it, all right, guys? Kind of rolling with it right now. All right, so ideally, I'm not even entirely sure if I want to put these columns here just because I kind of wanted it to be like open, open, but we'll see. We will see. That's literally everything I do in this game, girl. <laughs> oh, I know, that's the beauty of it. Okay, I think now it's time to decide. Do we do left or right, guys? Do you like the dark? The darker or the lighter? Actually, maybe I don't do it yet, I'm not sure. Why, god damn it. I don't see a difference, sir, in in the walls. Either the the brick or the tile. The walls, the walls. <laughs> Left, I like right better. Right, right. Left, left. 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 Right. I think left wins. Okay. But we'll try it. We can always change it later as well, so keep that in mind. But I just kind of want to get this a little bit more situated. One, two, three, four. I need four more of those. Pattern of both? Oh, that's too much. Uh, one, okay, what am I doing? All right, and then we'll do more gates. I need more, I need more, what am I doing? <laughs> Hello, what is happening? Need more of those, need a lot of gates. Give me all the gates. That's not as much as I expected it to be. Okay. Up, down. Oh my god. I need so many. Uh, right. I forgot I was making gates already. The peg of brain. Like a pea brain. Um, <laughs> around town. Okay. Ah! No. 
Oh, am I gonna have enough? I am one short. Wow. Okay, okay. One more. What do I need? Some of this, some of that. Boom. This is cute. Okay. Right. Now. This is the hard part. Hi, Cornet. Actually, let me procrastinate some more. Uh, does anyone know where a uh, birch is? Do we have any birch nearby? Well, I let you guys think about that. I need to take a pee break. So, BRB. We'll play some ads real quick. Feel free to also take a pee break. Get yourself a snacky. I might get a snack as well. How much birch do I need? A decent amount. Like, for sure a stack of birch. Close north. There's a birch. There is, there is a birch. <laughs> There's birch near my build. Okay. But I'm going to take a little break real quick. And I'll be back and we'll continue the build. I'm excited. I'm actually really liking how this is turning out. As much as I feel like I'm using my brain, I feel like I'm not at the same time for some reason. I don't know what's happening. But anyways, <laughs> be right back. BRB. Hi. Hi. Okay, I am back with incredibly healthy snacks. Perfect timing. Oh. <laughs> incredibly healthy snacks that no one can judge me for whatsoever. When she ends, she says bye till the stream cuts over to whoever she's raiding or it just cuts off when the internet gets mad. Wait, what? Y is it a BRB morning or is it stream ending? No, no, no. It'd be right back moment. Don't worry. I have Green tea Kit Kat and Rice crispy <laughs> Square. Very healthy. Gotta say, doing great. Doing great. Good morning, hair that hairy guy. What's up, dude? <laughs> could be worse. It could be. It's not bad. It's delicious. You said hi to your chair. I sure did. 
I sure did. I know. Why are Rice Krispies so good? They're so good. I got cookies over here. Ooh, oh, that reminded me. I have, uh, I totally forgot that I have them, but you know those cookies that come in the tins that usually, like, your grandma has where she put, like, sewing equipment in there? I love those. <laughs> and I totally forgot I have some of those from Christmas. Tea and rice, very Japanese snack. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so you guys said that there is a birch tree forest north. Oh. North, really? They gave you Pepper Ridge Farm variety instead? What the hell is that? What the hell is a Pepper Ridge Farm variety? I feel offended. <laughs> That's offensive. <laughs> oh, I have some. Okay, let me tr test it out first before I go on a journey. When did you want to do the community creeper hole? I mean, I was just like, I don't know if we need to. Do we really need to? Do you guys think we need some? Because I just feel like I, f I don't know. I felt like maybe the, I, I don't know if the um, current one that we have, like the creeper farm that we have, I feel like it was doing pretty well generally, no? I don't know. Please clear your inventory. Well, I'm making a, a storage building for that because I don't have one right now. My inventory can't. I have farms for basically everything, so it's up to you. Oh boy. Okay, so this is kind of like the idea that I had, which I really like how it looks to go just underneath. So yes, I do need birch. But do we want to? I feel like that could be fun. Yeah, maybe we could just do the creeper hole anyways. Oh yeah, I do need to go to a birch forest so that I can get materials to build said item, like said building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those kind of things, you know? I wanted the tin sewing kit, mm-hmm. So what'd you get from Pepper Ridge Farm then? Do they not give you a tin? Oh! Are you guys planning on doing a gold farm? Hmm. Are you doing it in the nether or above? Hmm. You're gonna be doing it all by yourself? Oh my god. Oh my god, TNT sounds messy, dude. We have, um, Centro is insane, why'd you say that? Um, it has a plan, okay. Um, we have a creeper farm that does have a, it's producing a decent amount of gunpowder, I'd say. Oh, Centurion. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. I'm responding to people in Minecraft chat. Yeah, anytime you um, kill the dragon and it guarantees an elytra. Sorry, I'm just eating my snacks real quick and then we'll get back to it. Good job. It's telling me I did a good job. Have a break. Good job. Good job. Kit Kat PS. Perfect timing. How fitting. <laughs> mm 
What are you trying to try? Papa Do's? It is sweet, yeah. Hello? certain materials in order to summon the dragon mmm that was good <laughs> bread with peanut butter and chocolate sprinkles mmm that sounds good hello oh I threw a sack of birch in your inventory oh oh <laughs> oh my god thank you thank you so much I didn't even have to go out anywhere T.Y. Okay. How much of this? How much of this am I gonna need? Let's see. Oh, I need to cut down this tree, and I'm sad. Man. Oh, why are green tea Kit Kats just so good? So delicious. Oh! Wait till Tuesday when JM turns the plugins back on so we get Elytra. Oh, wait, how can we turn them off? Was it like the server lag thing? I kind of caught you guys talking a little bit about it. The plugins are not turned off? I just got two Elytras? Oh. Well, that's interesting. I guess they're not off. <laughs> I guess you can do that. Oh, Vanilla Tweaks is still on though. Dragon Drops. Dragon Drops is Vanilla Tweaks? What are the other ones that we had that weren't? Why did that suddenly get so fast? Oh, private chests are off? Oh, okay. So world guard, world edit, block locker. Okay, that's okay. I feel like generally everyone's been doing pretty well as far as like items go for, oops, chests, which I'm really proud of guys. Good job, well done. I appreciate everyone being very considerate about that. Thank you. Oh boy, what am I gonna do here? Shoot. What do I do here, guys? And especially, what do I do here? Where it's all open. Oops. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's not causing any lag, is it? Like, I think we're generally doing okay. I feel like this is looking good. I kinda wanna put some underneath here too. Just cause you can kinda like see a little, but not really. Oh, it's chat lag? Is it really that bad though? And is it only like lag that, like it's just the chat that lags and nothing else? Or is it that the chat causes in-game lag? Secret room under there? Um, either a secret room potentially, or I might like be able to extend, um, wait, what? I might extend my storage downward if I wanted to. Uh, when someone writes in chat, it lags the game for one to two seconds sometimes. I feel like I haven't even noticed any lag, though. So, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes? Interesting. My game pauses this game for a split second every time? Huh. Weird. That's very strange. But yeah, I guess if it's like a, a Mo Yang issue, then... 
No, you don't have to find a new stronghold every time. You can go to the same one. Mo Yang. You had it too? That's weird. do about this this is a predicament I'm not sure what to do here oh why not just fill it with dirt Could, I guess. I just think if I fill it with dirt up to here, it's not gonna look very natural. I guess I could just do this like all the way down. Good night, Split. Sleep well, dude. Have yourself a good rest and a great day tomorrow. Uh, hello, Moss Boy. It seems like an issue that's been happening for years. Okay, so another thing I wanted to try, just to give a little bit of differentiating, is like putting this along the sides. But I'm not sure... Cause like, okay, this was another one of my ideas. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a hit or a miss. But here goes. It might be a lot. So I wanted to have depth in the walls, right? So I was thinking, what if I made this my wall? I just hope it's not like too much, you know? But I might do it. Cause I feel like it kind of looks pretty good. Like it's giving me the depth that I want. You. What do you guys think? <laughs> no one sleeps. <laughs> is I'm not sure if I want to leave this open like really open open or no I don't want to do that <laughs> never mind because <laughs> I'm gonna be putting uh, chests here so I, I decided that very quickly never mind mm -hmm. server chat has me dying Sleeping in the nether gives you a pass. Oh, jeez. Okay, I need a lot of trapdoors. This might have been a little too much. But it's fine. Okay, let's try that. Free ancient debris, oh god. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. I think it looks
looks pretty cool from the inside as well. I'm not too mad about this. Not mad. Uh, was Century in bed mining? Oh gosh. I haven't even gotten any... I haven't gone mining for debris myself yet. Tee hee. Me? Bed mine? TNT? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Alright, cool. At 53 Deborah, including those I made into ingots already. Damn. Damn. That's pretty good. Oh, I still have some trapdoors here. I still have to start digging for ancient debris. Uh, but there has been mined so much that the lower levels of the nether is pretty much gone. You just have to go like really far out, I would assume. Far out, bro. Okay. All right, so I am just gonna put a bunch of chests in here, like this, 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 this. And that's... Cool. However, now... I get to deal with the joys of figuring out how I wanna do the roof. You did, Baby Kong. We did it at the start of the stream. You can watch the VOD if you want, though. One of the subs on our in our community is uh, expecting a baby, so we did a cute little gender, or she set up a gender reveal um, thing in Minecraft with the uh, spoil for me. Well, I won't tell you in case anyone doesn't want it spoiled, so. I'm not gonna be the one to spoil it. <laughs> um, I'm wondering, I feel like I should do this because it's gonna separate the colors a bit more. Ooh. Or I do upside down stairs. I remember, I think someone had mentioned it. It might've been Elena. But. If I do dark oak upside down stairs, that might look good. To the VOD I go. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. I was like looking at the two side by side and I was like, hmm, I think I prefer how this looks. Right? <laughs> I hope. Oh. That's good? Got Moss Boy's approval. Good to go. Now, doing this along the outside is gonna be fun. Okay, I'm just dreading having to do the rooftop. I am not excited about it. Oops, oops. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was thinking exactly what JM responded with. All right. <laughs> 
So, uh, was it a boy or a girl? Yes. Do we get timed for links? Uh, you shouldn't if you're a sub. You should be fine if you're a sub. Dang it! I need some temp blocks up in here. Oh, thanks, Fallow. Have I ever played Ark Survival Evolved? I have not. I haven't really played a whole lot of other survival games, to be honest. I'm just kind of like, meh. I play Minecraft and that's like it. Hi, Keith. All right. Oh, the armor stands didn't slide well? build a temporary little thing around here. Okay, I'm gonna need to also put the trap doors along the side of this too. It feels so nice and cute to have a little baby part of the Luniverse. I'm a cry, I know, right? <laughs> so cute. I loved how she did it. Val wants to know what T does. Well, wouldn't he like to know? Wouldn't he like to know? Uh, <laughs> explosion. It's a child. <laughs> uh oh okay i need more what do i need more of calvin thanks for the three lovely months welcome back it's good to have you here thank you so much for supporting the lovely stream tyty thank you thank you hope you're enjoying your stay how was the reveal it was so cute i loved it so much oops it was perfect Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just losing materials all over the place. Maybe I just do this. Yeah? Like, is that weird? It looks kind of funny looking. Uh oh. But I think it'll be okay if I do something like this. <sighs> Always short. have to come back and get some more. Polish andesite or stone? Mm, on what exactly? Yeah, I'm always short girl problems. <laughs> True. Dang it. Um, good morning, Raikiri. Good morning, good morning. Placing these. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If you decide to put a basement, you can always leave the ocean view open. Maybe. Yeah, depends. It depends. Not entirely sure yet. Hello, beer. Like just one row on the bottom of this? this? Like here or? Like this part? Hi, Morjo. Hi. Do, do. If the reveal is in Minecraft, is it called You Will Have a Pixel? 
don't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, I'm just gonna make a few more twap doors. Whatever you wanna be. joke is you're a pixel might actually terraform a bit, which is kind of annoying. Mostly because I don't wanna. Maybe in Minecraft would be a pixel. I guess. <laughs> no. I'm doing great. It's just like a th th information, I guess. I've stolen 37 cheese wheels on Skyrim today. Ayo. <laughs> Living it up, dude. Living the dream. <laughs> okay. All right, well, this is what we have. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but it is what it is. <laughs> I, look, it's a struggle, okay? The doors are difficult, it's challenging. It's too much. Too much work. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy, was it from you? I got a package today with some coffee and two two bags of coffee and a shirt. I'm assuming maybe that you are the Jeremy that it was from. Just wanted to say thank you and that I got it. Hello, hello. Mmm, coffee. It smells really good. It smells super duper good. Thank you so very much. Thank you. If you wanted to catch me opening it, you can watch the start of the stream or whatever. I do like coffee. Unfortunately, I can only drink decaf though, so I'll have to try it very sparingly. Unless it is decaf coffee, but I think coffee is amazing. Um, it ain't easy being cheesy. Crap, okay, the moment's here. The moment has arrived. I have to try the thing. I have to try it. Uh, I get like anxious mostly. Like, I haven't really had like caffeine, caffeine in a while. But when I do, like, it mostly just gives me anxiety. So, like, aside from like jitters and stuff, it just kind of like. 
is like an overwhelm. I can like feel my heart beating through my chest and I'm too aware of it. So maybe there's a way to reduce the caffeine, maybe. I'll try to take little sips of it here and there, you know? Um, guys, I don't want to build this roof. <laughs> I think this is why I was enjoying this so much. I was like, oh, this is nice. This is really nice. I'm liking this because I didn't have to build the roof. Hmm. I need to- I want to make it matching my other stuff, so I think I have to go with a similar style such as this one. I grew up drinking soda, but as an adult I know how bad it is for you. Yeah, I love soda so much. But there's more caffeine in like coffee than there is in like soda and stuff. Let's go build something else and then make the roof later when you do feel more like doing it. I mean, I just- this is always me when it comes to building rooftops. I'm just always like, ugh. Let me think for a second. Maybe I'll just do it like a little, like slightly different from this. But then the problem with that is like, I don't like how this looks. I feel like I kind of have to do it like this. Uh, all right, well, let's just try. Uh, the Pixie, thank you for the 53 months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Hope you're having yourself a lovely day. All right. Second. Is that how far I'm going to make this roof go down? I don't know. Are there vehicles in Minecraft? Uh, no, but you can build some. Build your own vehicles. That's a thing. Okay, I'm not sure. Is this? Am I? This is the center block here, so. This would be the top. Let's see how that looks like. See how much we don't like it if we do. Chat, what do you think? Ah, scared me. Oh, wow, thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. It's lit, too pointy. Too tall in the center? Beautifully crafted, nice finish, especially on the right side. Hmm. <laughs> Cause like the thing is, wait. Looney, Papados has died 120 times? Brother! Really? Oh my god. Wait, how many times has Sashenka died? 
That's insane. 54? How many am I at? Uh... What is it again? Wait. Number of deaths, one. Damn. Damn. It's an abstract art piece? Oh, goodness. <sighs> so, I'm trying to think, like, it's not terrible. It's not terribly tall. Like, if I... Like, I'm, I would have to bring this up, I think. I'd bring that up. And then I'd do, like, a, a thing like this, maybe. Or maybe even, like, a mini... Mm. I'm not sure about this one, guys, but... Hear me out for it, okay? I'm trying to go for the cabin vibes, and I'm not... I'm not vibing with it. Oh, god dang it. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking things. So it's kind of similar, like I said, to the other build. Right? Like, kind of like that. And then the rest would kind of just be something It's a good hut roof shape, you think so? It's good? Hi Nick. Cabin in the Woods, haven't seen it. Not a horror movie kind of gal. Not my type of thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try this because it's it it matches the theme. It's thematically on brand on you know. Oh sleep frick. Oh, someone's sleeping. Okay, never mind. I'm just debating on whether or not I want another material type in here. I'd say upside down stair across the bottom level to make transition into house smooth. Instead of this? I like that. I like keeping that there. Or are you saying... Oh, bottom block of the roof. Uh, upside down stair across the bottom level. Are you saying like here, like upside down stairs? What the hell? Hi, Snow. How are you? Lowest on left, like this. We could try something. I think uh, uh, for now I kind of need to continue this thingy. How am I gonna do this? Oh lord. Okay. We're 
we're just gonna... <laughs> Why am I so bad at using trapdoors? It's insanely amazing how terrible I am at this. Okay. Well, we can see what one half of this looks like. Oops. Hmm. Chaos! I'm trying to my best to fall back asleep. I woke up 30 minutes ago and I can't get back to sleep. Oh no. Would dream catchers be a cause since I do have one hanging about? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. You're just probably having trouble sleeping or something. I'm not sure. I personally don't know how much dream catchers really affect things or not, but I don't know. <laughs> hmm. See, I'm having this, this issue where I feel like now it just looks like too much of the same. But I'm not sure what, it just looks, ugh, I wish I could change. Um. I wish I could... I wish I could have kept like the other, like a more Japanese look in my head because this would be perfect for it, but I'm trying to stick to the theme because I feel like that will help me to build interesting things. Thank you, Moss. Dark oak trapdoors as trim. Would the trim be like the top? Is that what that would be? Unrendered house. <laughs> oh, it hurts me. Hello, Kirk. Hi. How's it going? Ugh. I know. I wish I could. If I could have done like a. If I could have done like a really nice Asian style, I feel like that would have looked really cool. But I am struggling with this a little bit. Like I'm not sure if I should take these out and put like, like that, just to break it up a bit. I think that helps. I think I do need that. Um. Okay, well, let's just kind of work with this, I guess. Like the base or along the slope of the door. Well, thank you. I kind of want to keep, I mean, I could lower the entrance as well. Like I don't need it to be that tall. Do you guys think I should lower the entrance by one? Like the door for it? Well, thank you, Tristan. Yes. What for? Just for a not as tall of a thing. Just to see the height difference. I 
feel like it might help give it a bit better of a shape. Eh, eh. <laughs> no. Let's see. I should have taken a picture before. Does that, I feel like that feels better. It just kind of feels more proportionate. Do you get paid for streaming or do you stream for people's entertainment? Both. I like to stream, you know, I was thinking about that today. I was having, you know, I was having a, a thought to myself. I was thinking. <laughs> and I was like, what what to do I why do I stream? You know? And my answer to myself was I want to make a community of good people that are like-minded and that have similar interests and that are just good people, you know? I like a group of good people to be surrounded by, you know? So, and it just so happens that I get to do it as my job, which is great. I'm very lucky. Okay, okay, I'll get out of here, got it. <laughs> That's up to you, you know? <laughs> you can stay if you want, you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's my whole thing, I guess. I don't know. I feel like people have different goals for what they want out of streaming, you know? Ooh, I feel like I could have a topic of discussion for for you guys, but I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go there or not today. I'm not sure if my brain- I feel like my brain has already exploded. We are listening. Now you have to go there? You think so? <sighs> Just spit it. Let me think of how to word this. Uh, okay. So. Uh, hello, base. Do okay. How do I? How do I say this? Do you, what do you guys think, okay? I, I want to hear your opinions. Do you guys feel like... Twitch streamers or content creators... Like, do you feel like streamers should have, like, a sense of responsibility... like, for their community? Do you know what I'm saying? Depends. I think to an extent. Right. Nope, that's cringe. Yes. <laughs> Ginger dips, what the hell? Uh, IMO, yes, own your brand using your outlets such as Twitter, Discord. Depends because you can't control someone if they do something stupid. Right. So, 
I don't think you should feel the need to stream eight hours a day, eight hours a day, five days a week. But if you go on and LOA for a week and don't see anything, we're just like, what the fuck? Okay, what I mean by that is more so like, what I mean by responsibility is more so like, like, okay, okay, I think I have a better question. Do you feel as though streamers should try to set a good example for their communities or for their viewers? More so. Like if... Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> what did I just ask? You're going there? Well, I was having like all kinds of co like conversations with myself earlier today. What did I just ask? Sorry. <laughs> Can someone please word for word tell me what I just sa said? Because <laughs> I forgot. You asked if streamers should be setting good examples for their community. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so now that I know that, you asked if streamers should be setting good examples for their community. It, that's hard to answer because so many big streamers didn't start out as just streamers. Right. Are content creators responsible for their communities? I, when, I, when I say that, I think more so like if they should be setting a good example for their community. Because... Anyone who entertains has a responsibility to set a good example because there's... Depends on the streamer and their brand. Yeah, because like... I feel like it's a tough question, right? Because... I think setting a good example is important, but you can't control every individual's actions. Right, so if you are a streamer, and you are aware of your demographic, like say you're a streamer, your demographic is very young kids. Should that streamer feel the responsibility to be a good example to those, their viewers? Does that make sense? Yes. I prefer streamers being like themselves rather than being a fake persona to look good. It's like you want to be specific but can't. <laughs> I, I, I've forgotten all the sides, don't worry. I have forgotten everything. Right? Cuz... There's like so many parts of it, cause I was trying to think to myself, I was having a whole ass conversation with myself when I was in the shower. I was having all these shower thoughts. And I was like, I remember a time where people were like, oh, like Ninja has to set a good example or like anytime um, content creators, like it, it's just like, like it's, it's a tough thing to even verbalize like what I'm saying or thinking because I feel like if people are doing, like, are acting a certain way and they have their audience perceiving their actions as something that's okay to do. Like, I feel like at that point, like, should the content creator be responsible for their actions? I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> You're not responsible for our mental health, even though I'm sure uh, everyone thinks it's super sympathetic. However, anyone with a following is influencing those followers, right? Obvi, where the word influencer comes from. For example, because of you, more people might be watching Prime videos and setting a good example is a huge part of that, but could also be using that influence for bad. One thing I've seen is character limit, so let me write, okay. <laughs> It's hard. It's not exactly fair to expect someone who doesn't normally try to set a good example for someone to then set a good example just because their audience is young. Right. That was like another part of it where I was like, I don't know. Should streamers be forced to change their personality just to stream on Twitch? Oh, no. That's not what I am, like, that's not necessarily what I mean. Like, people shouldn't have to change their personality. It isn't necessarily their fault that their audience is young, right? Yeah, no. I don't feel... I think being a generally moral person pretty much answers the question. I think all streamers should strive to be. 
Yeah, see, that's where I have- I've been having this, like, existential crisis almost. But it's not, like, having to do with, like, me necessarily. So, I guess I'm fucking going here. <laughs> uh, do I want to go here? I don't know if I want to go here. That's, like, gray area, though. Yeah, in terms of, like, cussing, right? Just go there or don't. I don't know if I want to go here. One thing I've seen in the year of 2021 is that there are literally league-only streamers that are negative or toxic on stream and create a following based on that, which I think feeds right back into the community and into the ranked games. All those individuals who follow those streamers play, they are taught by that streamer that it's normal. Yeah, exactly, right? She's making me nervous? I know! So, the reason I'm saying this is because, like... I know we- I don't want to- I don't even want to talk about this because I- it's such- you guys already probably know what I'm talking about, but like it's just such a- like it's such a tiring conversation, but if I'm seeing like a streamer promoting or like every day is doing something that is literally illegal to their audience and they are aware of their actions I think the problem with content creation these days... Yeah, it's like the DMCA stuff, right? I think the problem with content creation these days is that like a lot of content creators are able to get away with stuff, but then their audience think that it's actually okay. So is that... Like, is that content creator then responsible to like... I feel like they sh- I don't know. In my mind, I just feel like morally... Like, I don't think you should be, like, advertising... Like, or, like, promoting the act of doing something. Like that. I know, TMZoids. Yeah. So, it just feels... weird. Yeah, like, when I see, like, a lot of their viewers who, who, like, like, a lot of people meme about this stuff, like, oh, like, like, you know, um... Like, that's the thing when it comes to these kind of situations. They should get the book thrown at them and knock them at that pedestal, they're not taking it seriously. I think that's what messes me up is that people don't take it seriously and they're like, ha ha, I'm gonna get in trouble. And like their whole audience is like, LOL, let's just watch this. And me as a streamer who very much values the importance of like morals, <laughs> it's like weirding me out a lot. Like it almost makes me uncomfortable to just see like, at this point, with if this is the way that, like, if we're talking about, like, oh, like, who, who cares, blah, blah, blah. Like... It's just, like, I feel like it, it sets this example to younger people who don't, aren't familiar with content creation, aren't familiar with, like, copyright stuff and stuff like that, that it's okay to do this. And that it's more like there that there isn't even an issue when it comes to I feel like people don't even realize that morals are even in play here. Like I feel like people don't even realize that this is morally in like really bad. <laughs> but the problem is if you see your favorite content creator stealing from Target, like let's say that's the new meta, stealing items from Target or Walmart. I bet you a lot of people would be like, well, it's the meta, I have to do it, it's fine. Oh, this person who has uh, 34,000 viewers watching them, or who's a really big streamer is doing it, they're not getting caught, I think I can do it too. And I think that's like what bothers me. Like, I think that bothers me a lot. Well, it's kind of, it's honestly not much different from piracy, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's along the if all your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? And that's the thing, is they would. Which weirds me out. It's weird. 
Yeah, that's the thing. And I think why it affects me personally is because it almost feels like there's a disconnect in humanity. Almost. Like, I don't feel like I can relate to these people at all. <laughs> like, as a streamer, I'm like, you're a streamer. Why do you feel like this is okay? And I feel like this is absolutely terrible. Like, this is so incredibly morally incorrect. And everyone's like, just do it, it's fine, who cares? It makes me feel weird. <sighs> There's a lot of people that had really good takes on it. Like, if anything, Devin Nash has the perfect everything about it. But, um... Like, it terrifies me to see how many people are just, like, okay with it. And how their chats are, like, encouraging of it. And it's actually terrifying to me. Yeah, Devin still has takes. Then don't, uh, don't relate to them, yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to, or I don't have to. I don't feel the need to relate to them, but because like we're like, like Centro said, it feels weird to you because it's like in the same, they're like my coworkers almost on this platform. And not to mention, I, I fear for like this, like potential, like so much shit happening that like all of Twitch is gonna get fucked over for it. Like one bad thing that someone takes or, or like one person ruins it for everybody kind of thing. Like what if Twitch gets in so much shit? Like what if in the video that Devin said, like what if um, brands don't wanna work with Twitch because they're known for doing this really, like streamers that have this really shitty morals and like they're not doing things correctly literally like just doing illegal things on the website like what if people literally don't want to associate with twitch and it's just like there's a whole like a lot of what ifs there but it's just like i feel like i'm like oh my god about it kind of Uh, it's dependent on brand identity and if you're meant to really influence others. Yeah, but I feel like there has to be like a line, you know? Like there has to be some kind of like... Like up into a certain point. I don't know about it disappearing, but I just feel like I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of shit happened. Like a lot of problems or something. Oh, this is making me anxious talking about this. I don't know why, sorry. <laughs> But I feel like good talking about it just because like I, uh, <laughs> it's like been festering in me, like just like this whole like, I don't know. I don't like seeing people doing like morally wrong things and them being so aware of it and they like are laughing about it. It like makes me feel like, are you even human at this point? Like it kind of weirds me out. I don't know. Is that the video I was referencing? Sorry, TM Zoids. Yeah. He's so right though. Everything he talked about is 100% correct. It's almost like the situation where this is why we can't have nice things exactly. That's exactly it. Um, Andal, thank you for gifting us a sub to TM Zoids, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, I think... Uh, I have to say that I think toxic influencers have been around for decades, even a millennia. They just look, uh, took up different platforms in the past. People will always use any platform for good, for both good and bad. The sad truth is that the bad usually creates more controversy and thus has a louder voice. You can make a million parallels to this type of human behavior. The bottom line is that if you feel like there's an issue with morality and ethics, talking about it like this every now and then is perfect. Yeah, I feel like that's why I can't just like let it go because I'm just like, what the fuck about it? You know, I'm just like, this is so incredibly morally incorrect and, and no one's batting an eye. Well, there are people who are, but I'm just like, why aren't more like top streamers doing this? Instead, they're like, what are we watching today, chat? And it's just like, okay, like I get the memes, but it's just like, ah, I don't know, man. Um, water, thank you for the three months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. 
yeah, like there's a di like laws are in place for a reason whether you agree with them or not There's still a law that you have to abide to like just because you don't agree to something like you still like it's still there Like like you know, I don't know man Just because you don't agree with something you can't just like I think that's the problem with like a lot of like How kids are gonna be growing up these days on the internet is like they don't realize that they can be punished for doing these things and I feel like they're just gonna be like, well, my favorite streamer is doing it, so why should I have to do it or whatever? And I just don't, like, that terrifies me. It scares me, guys. I don't like it. It's incredibly lazy on their part as an alleged content creator to just show up on a stream and fuck off somewhere else. I can understand, yeah, like, I agree if it's like, if they're just watching it and they're, like, there was someone who put on Lord of the Rings and they went back to sleep. Like, that's obviously, like, just blatantly terrible. However, there are a lot of content channels, like, on YouTube that I actually enjoy watching that genuinely react correctly. Like, they, they talk about the stuff, they, like, they are genuinely reacting, and I don't think that that's necessarily lazy content. I feel like that is genuinely, like, awesome content. Like, people can really make good stuff about that. However, I do feel like there's a lot of people who are just taking advantage of that, and they're just calling it like what they think they're calling it or they're, they're calling it like what they feel like it is but it's just like slapping a sticker on something and calling it a day and being like well there's my you know so like i don't want to call all react content lazy content because there are some that are good however it's just that the not good kind are a little loud and overcoming or they're like very out there right now <laughs> it's very prominent right now well the thing is they literally like they the thing is if you do it in discord like these people are doing this in front yeah there's no monetary gain they're literally getting paid they're making money off of doing something that isn't you're obviously not supposed to like there's just there's just so many layers of bad and I, I, I will admit, I myself, I do movie nights in Discord, but I'm not like doing it to a massive audience and I'm not getting paid to do, like to watch or have movie nights in Discord, you know? So like, take care Moss Boy. You know, so it's just, uh, I don't know. I just personally, I, I could never, I just feel like I could never do this because yeah, we made the movie night available to non-subs as well, so it's not even behind a paywall. But, um, like, I remember the first time I got a copyright strike for music on my YouTube channel. And, like, I knew of some people that had, like, really big issues as far as, like, a copyright strike had gone, where it, like, could have even gone to legal course or whatever. And ever since then, I learned my lesson and I was like, okay, I'm going to forever from now on, like, make sure I do everything knowing that, like, me, as a content creator, if I'm going to be making money off of something, I want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. I'm not going to get fucked over somehow. Like, I want to make sure I don't put myself in a situation where I'm actually, like, getting in trouble with the law. But, like, these people are, like... They are testing it. And that blows my mind. I just, I can't imagine, like, just thinking that that's okay in the first place. It weirds me out. Uh, counter argument, what if streamers were to have to pay to be able to stream content that companies allowed them to do it? Totally cool. 1000% <laughs> go for it. If a company paid them, sponsored them, like if Crunchyroll sponsored them and they were doing it, that's totally fine. There's no laws that are being broken there. Everything is okay. Everything is permitted. That's completely different. If streamers pay, like if I paid a service, like I paying, like I'm paying my licenses to make cover songs, I do that as well. If I could pay a license or if I could pay for a subscription to listen to copyrighted music and I would be okay for it, that would be totally fine. That would be totally okay. Or like if I got to pay for a license to watch freaking Hunter or Death Note or whatever it is, you know? That's totally fine. But um, 
that's just not the case. And that's not what's happening. And I bet you also that they still wouldn't do it. Because yeah, Amazon watch parties exist and guess what? Twitch literally giving people the tools to do what they're doing and instead I, I can understand why they choose not to because if they're just streaming a show, they don't have to like sync up, they don't have to have Amazon Prime, they don't have to sync up, like they don't have to log into a service, it's just right there. It's just right on their screen. And they can follow along with the streamer without having to do anything. It's like the easiest thing for the viewers, which is why more viewers tune in and stuff. But you know. <laughs> oh, Centro. But anyways, anyways, um, Uh, I just feel like the whole, like, the fact that morals are just completely getting thrown out the door makes me so... It makes me feel so weird. That's just, like... And seeing people that, like, are okay with it, and seeing, like, their reaction to, like, other people, like, telling them, like, Hey, like, shouldn't you not be doing this? And them being like, oh, who cares? Or whatever. Like, it's so weird. And I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, Eagle, yes. It is. So I know I'm not like a perfect angel when it comes to that. So if I wanted to like really perfectly like make sure that I really wasn't doing anything like that, then I wouldn't do watch parties. But... You know, it's more of like a private thing and technically it is wrong to do still. But it's very different from what's happening. Ryan, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Looniverse, my friend. So I want to know that like, people know that I'm like aware of that. But it's like, you know, like it's still not correct. But it's like, yeah, it's it's still like, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like having a listening party, I guess, with friends, maybe. Yeah, different levels of the same thing, but it's more on a private level, whereas this is very much public, very much um, broadcasted, and it's it's like, hey, look at this thing that I'm doing, and you know. Ah. Thank you, Morks. Yeah. It's like showing a movie in your backyard versus at a local park. Both illegal, but like going five make oh what? Five MPH over the speed limit versus 30. <laughs> I mean I guess. Uh, Chaos, thanks for the 500 bits. Off topic, but I got hot cocoa since Jay Chosen suggested, but also I thought my plastic spoon by stirring it would melt, but it didn't. Good to know, Chaos. <laughs> Thank you. Um, see, the thing is, like, you can do, like, React content is okay to do. Like, if you make, like, YouTube videos for it and they're actually transformative. But if you're just straight up watching it, it's like really rough it's just like really like the thing is it's like they're willingly doing it and they're aware of what they're doing and they're like like they're just trying to go through the loops and stuff the main difference would be on stream you make money using copyrighted content on discord it would be considered a more private non-profit viewing that's yeah exactly exactly that's what i was trying to say and i couldn't bring up the words like i wanted to no, of course, Eagle. Absolutely. I 100% agree. I, I like to be- I like to see both sides of the story, too. Like, I know, like, even myself, I made a, um, I made a TikTok, uh, of my shuffle video that had copyrighted music in it, but I'm not- I didn't make money off of that, uh, TikTok. So, it's like, like, my TikTok is so small that I'm not, like, making money off of it, so, like, I'm- I'm more okay with, like, doing stuff like that, or, like, if I get a copyrighted, like, takedown notice on YouTube, like, I don't mind because I know what I'm signing up for. I know that I'm, like, I shouldn't be, uh, getting my pay for it because I'm using someone else's content. So, take care, Elena. Have yourself a good night. 
um, they can't just upload full length episode reactions. They get what ten minutes, depending on how long the content they're reacting to. Yeah, it's it's like it's um it, like the thing is like the the reacting and if they do it correctly is like fair use, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, because it's like transformative content. So it's just, it's rough. Justifying doing illegal things by pointing at other people around you isn't really an argument though. No, it definitely isn't. Yeah, there's more, um, yeah. Yeah, fair use is still a very gray area and it's still very like complicated for people. Like, I, I still don't know, like, like, you know, like I made the, the Naruto video of like with the thing and I had Naruto clips in there. I'm like hoping it's it's transformative enough, but part of me is still like, I don't know if this is even okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it's hard to judge for like a jury and stuff, but sometimes we just make the content and just like hope that what we're doing is like okay enough. And if not, then we take it down. But the problem is, the like the streamers who are doing this know very well that it's not okay. They're very much aware of what they're doing. And they're trying to get around it, which is like, what's the word for that? Like you're literally, uh, you're like trying to get around the law and it's like you're blatantly doing it in front of everybody kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, we don't have to talk, talk about this for very long, but I just, feel like in my opinion at this point the streamers who are doing this should be like not encouraging this behavior <laughs> you know like i really genuinely especially to any audience you can be any age and have no idea about about copyright and how it works and content creators streamers of all people should be the ones to know the most which is why it's like crazy to me but i feel like they like as streamers i part of me feels maybe it's just me maybe i'm the only one who has this opinion but i feel like i have a responsibility to yeah maybe it is just me but i feel like i want to teach my community like what is okay and what isn't okay especially in the content creation world because there's a lot of people who want to try to make content that have no clue so there's a lot of people that are probably going to see that and think it's okay and it's just not i don't know good night jm so yeah i don't know when i say like my what i stream for is i want to like have my stream be a place for people to be able to grow as people or like to i don't know i just believe in like cultivating a community of good people with good morals <laughs> that's important to me and i value that in my community and if people don't align with it then i don't want them here but like it's just i don't know dude i honestly think it just comes down to ignorance on the other side uh which side <sighs> like you teach chilled what is and isn't okay to say to a girl. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I just want to say, Looney, that it's somewhat comforting to know that this is this whole thing bothered you as much as it bothered me. Yeah, you know? And like some- the thing that's weird is like some people, um, like I've seen, you know, people like XQC who are like, Oh, like, why do people even care what other people are doing? Like, mind your business, like, it's not your stream, like, keep streaming your shitty content, da da da. And it's like, okay, but like, I still like, am on this platform, I share this platform with you. I share other people who might want to sponsor my content with you. And like, you're kind of giving Twitch a bad name. Like, you are literally giving my workplace a bad name and it's kind of frustrating. Like, I, it's almost embarrassing. Like, if I had to tell people, like, like, people just know Twitch for, like, it, all the, it's problems. <laughs> it's just, like, I don't want to be known as a streamer that streams on this platform that I genuinely, genuinely enjoy because of the community that I have here and, like, you know, being able to, I don't know, whatever it is, I don't know. Like, if I go to YouTube, you guys wouldn't, would probably understand why at this point. <laughs> but it's just, like, you know. I, I don't like that I'm like constantly being ashamed of the platform I'm streaming on. <laughs> 
you know, if this thing gains wider traction in public, everyone is going to get screwed over because of it. If you're talking about the mind your business thing, I'm not going to go on Facebook. Bro. This is what I was looking for. Oh my god. <sighs> Like, the, the person that I retweeted in my tweet today is, uh, they are a lawyer, and they were like, yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this is not good. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind if they made, like, if they cleared up laws on copyright, I'd be down with for that. I'm okay with that. And then if, if everything is okay to, like, if, if what people are doing these days is a-okay -okay and it's actually all right at the end of the day then i'm like okay cool everything's fine we're all doing things that are great but in my eyes like this is just like it's blatantly illegal and it makes me uncomfortable <laughs> to see how many people are just okay with breaking the law and they don't care about the consequences if there are going to if they're going to receive any it's just like they're all okay with taking the gamble and it weirds me out Anyways, I know I'm kind of repeating myself and I'm saying the same thing over and over and again, but <sighs> At the end of the day advertisers would find a reason to lowball twitch. I'm pretty sure they could even blame it on chat Yeah That's the sad thing. I know dude. I am sunlocked because I'm just like what the fuck? <laughs> I can't believe it. I really just can't and it's just I remember the first day I saw it. I was like what? Is this real? Is this happening right now? <sighs> but anyways, thank you guys for listening. I appreciate it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, me too, Tony. I think that's what the biggest thing is. It's just to see like, no one has morals <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so, yeah, it is unsettling. You know? That's like the biggest feels weird man to me. And I think that's what it comes down to and why it upsets me so much. Well, to me, I feel like there's like a certain point like where some people are just like objectively like, oh, you know, they deserve what the, how like they worked to get here and like they they've done a lot of they've accomplished a lot of great things. And I feel like I can acknowledge like there are like I still like Pokey. I think Pokey's great, but it like makes me feel uncomfortable to see that she was like didn't think like like how are none uh, like how uh, <laughs> how is no one like, hey, don't you think this? isn't a good idea like shouldn't you like like they're friends like i just feel like if you're in like a friend group of like streamers you just like suck each other off and you're, you don't tell each other what you should or shouldn't do instead you're just like in like a bandwagon of this like constant just in your own circle without even having an understanding of like reality anymore like i don't know like, no offense to them, like, I, I'm sure there- maybe there are people in, like, friend- some of their friend groups that are like, Hey, like, I don't think this is right, and therefore they're not doing it, which I respect. But I just feel like... If I had a friend that was doing this, I'd be like, yo, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like... And then if my friend was like, well, I'm just- This is an experiment, and I'm testing out the limits of DMCA. I'd be like, don't you feel like this is morally incorrect and like you're you're literally like showing that like why don't you make a YouTube video out of this or something instead? I don't know. <laughs> like just why are you so okay with breaking the law? I don't know, it's so weird to me. I feel like I would second guess my friendship with that person because if my friend is okay with doing this, what else are they okay with? That's what I'm saying. If they're okay with doing this, what else are they okay with? That's my problem. What the fuck is that? Who just- <laughs> Thank you, Ando. I was like, is my game bugged? Why do I have white blocks here? <laughs> I was so confused. Oh. 
Anyways, sorry. Yeah, me too, Eagle. Me too. They've all made fuck off money. They can tell whoever to just fuck off and have no consequences because they can either outlawyer them or buy them off. Exactly. And that's what scares me. I had a really long conversation about this, but like, that's what scares me. It's like, they, I feel like, are like, okay, I hope I'm not, I hope this is okay for me to talk about. Um, just in general. But I just feel like there's just such a disconnect with reality. Because once you make that much money, you just throw your money at every problem that you come across. Like, oh, I'm banned from Twitch? No problem, I'll just sign a deal with YouTube. Or, oh, I'm getting sued for $10 million? No problem, I have $10 million. Or like, oh, I'm getting sued, or I'm getting sued in general, or whatever. I just don't feel like anyone's gonna learn from this. No one clearly learned from the music DMCA thing. Like, everyone was crapping their themselves on, like, whether their channels would be taken down for the music. And where are we now? People are still listening to DMCA music on their stream, but they're splitting the audio. Which is funny because the, the principle, the reason why we shouldn't be listening to DMCA music on stream is because it's copyrighted material, which is still illegal. So people are just always trying to look for routes that are just to get around the problem. People, I feel like people don't genuinely understand what the problem is or why it's not okay. But they're like, they just know, oh, this bad, me, no do, or get banned. And then it's just like, oh, I can do this? Other people do this? I do this. I don't know. Yeah, just because you find a way to get away with something doesn't, make, doesn't mean it's okay. And that's just like, the problem with content creation is like people don't people are so young people don't understand like why things are not okay <sighs> i just want i just feel like i don't know man i just feel like people need a reality check and it kind of like weirds me out that like so many of like the big streamers are there they will do literally anything for content they will go to the ends of the earth and do literally anything for content. <laughs> and it's kind of scary. Because no consequence matters to them. They're not afraid of anything. Oh, consequence? I'll just pay it off. Someone else deal with it, not me. It's Yeah, you don't get big like that without having, like, without just throwing morals out the window. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's got me fucked up. <laughs> it's got me fucked up, bro. And like, I watched a clip of like, like why, like someone was like, oh, Toast, like you shouldn't be doing this, blah, blah, blah. And he's he said something about like, oh, what am I gonna do? Oh no, I'm stealing from the billion dollar companies, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, well then what, how is this any different from you going to Target and literally stealing stuff? Like, you know what I mean? It's just... Uh... It made me feel so uncomfortable to see it. It just... I don't know. It just doesn't feel like... <sighs> I don't know. It just feels weird. Well, whether or not you disagree with something, though, it's still copyright. That's the thing. Like, it, like people can disagree with things all they want, but it's still, it's still illegal, or it's still the law. It's like you could disagree with stealing from big companies. Does that mean you would steal from Target? Like, because <laughs> you don't think that money should go to billion-dollar companies? Does that mean you're you're okay with just stealing money or just stealing items from? Walmart or Target or Disney or whatever. I don't know. Exactly. Like a lot of kids look up to these streamers. 
and I don't- I'm just like- it scares the shit out of me to think that these kids are gonna grow up thinking that this is okay. Or like, to- like, not consider morals in the first place. Like, that just scares the shit out of me, dude. Like, I don't want to live in a world where people don't fucking care about morals. It just weirds me out. Shit. I'm putting these on the wrong way. Uh, just steal from mama. I wouldn't disagree with someone stealing it if it was their only option. Yeah, but you still know that's bad, right? <laughs> like, sure, it, it might be their only option, but they still will get consequences for it. Just because they can't afford to buy something doesn't mean they should be a, a permitted to steal. Like, just because someone is, like, maybe doesn't is, or is poor and doesn't make enough money or can't ma like make ends meet doesn't make that okay. Um, yeah, that's also like a necessity to live too. Like sure, like there's a difference between like a necessity to live and entertainment, obviously. But it doesn't make it permittable either. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you're doing it maliciously and you know what you're doing and you are aware of the consequences and you're still okay with doing it. And you're like, lol, I'm going to jail, oh my god. I don't know. Uh... I just don't see why we can't live in a world where we all can watch Naruto and Pog and chat. I mean, it's just... I think I, I might have come up with, like... An analogy. It's just that, like... It's just the rules. <laughs> it's just the rules. Like, imagine if I made an animation, okay? Let's say I made... Naruto. Okay, no, 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 no. I didn't make Naruto. I made, I made, uh, I, okay. I made an animation called Lunato. Okay, I made it myself. It's from scratch. I made my own animation, okay? I am a small creator. I am independent and I don't have like any, um, I don't have any studio or whatever, okay? So I make the animation, it gets traction, it blows up, and suddenly it's huge. It's huge, okay? Now because of that, I have to get like my rights for it. I have to get like, you know, I have to get everything that allows me to get the rights for it so that someone else doesn't steal it and just makes money off of it or I don't I miss out on my hard work like I've worked really hard on this thing so if somebody takes it and I don't care how much money these companies make okay um it's still a piece of work that people worked on it's an animation it's a movie it's whatever it is okay okay well whatever order you get it in I'm not you you get what I'm trying to say it's still not like, like, okay, hang on, hang on. So I have this animation, right? It's getting really popular. Now for someone to watch my animation ripped off of a website that somebody uploaded it to, I don't get any money off of that. My publisher or whatever, my studio doesn't get any money off of that. The person who's watching it to all these people who is like 34,000 people that could have paid for a service to watch my animation are all getting it for free and the person who's watching it is making money and I am getting nothing from it whether I'm a billion dollar company or not it's just not right they put this in order for no matter what size of a creator or business you are so that you are protected that's what copyright is to protect creators or whoever makes stuff, right? It's just, it, it shouldn't matter necessarily what size the person is. 
whether it's billion dollar or not, because then you're nitpicking who can get it and who can't. And like when it comes to these kind of things, you just have to draw a line on what's okay and what isn't. Does that make sense? I hope that made sense. Because then at that point, I'm not true the bigger people win. Well, it's just like, uh, that's just th the world we live in or whatever. But like, you understand what I'm trying to say, right? If you pay to own, watch something, it helps companies realize where interest lies and for more animated projects similar to for it to be made. Also true. And it helps to support like the the people who worked hard on it. I would probably pirate Looney Tone. Doubt it would be available in my country. See the thing, there's a difference with that. Like again, like if someone pirates things, I can understand. Like maybe you can't afford subscriptions. Maybe you like don't know any better. Maybe you have no other means to watch the, the thing. So I kind of get like why people pirate things. However, there's a big difference between pirating for your own personal private enjoyment and broadcasting to a massive audience. That's the problem is the massive audience part. Well, yeah, obviously, but like, what am, what am I supposed to do about the corrupted world we live in? We still have rules, we still have laws that we have to abide to, otherwise things are just gonna be fucking crazy. Uh, is anyone else having audio issues? I don't think, I'm not sure, Malik. And if they can work out a deal for streamers to do that, fucking amazing. That'd be great. But that's just not the case right now. A streamer could easily pay for rights to stream shows, things... Uh, uh, to stream shows, thing is it would cost millions. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Which is why people don't do it and why it's just kind of crazy. And why it's just like, no. <laughs> It would be cool if you could stream it, but have a verification system for viewers to say they own the service, but want to watch with others who own it. Well, that's why, like, uh, I mean, like, the thing is that they made- they came out with a deal. It's the fucking Amazon watch parties, and no one's using it. That's the thing. You have literally Amazon watch parties. If they come out with a deal, no one's gonna fucking use it, and that's what's stupid. That's the thing. <laughs> I don't know. There's not that much stuff on Amazon Prime though. I mean, you we just can't have everything we want. It's something, you know? I checked for stuff on Amazon Video and it's like, okay, yeah, sure, there's no Naruto. Sure, there's no like amazing top whatever, but it's, it's there's stuff there. There's a lot of shit on there. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of stuff on there, but it's just like, you can't have everything you want in the world. That's just the that's just how it is. That's You literally can't have everything you could ever desire in the world. It's just, it's just not possible. You can't have everything. And I don't know why people feel like they need to have everything. It's just, it's just kind of crazy. Oh. I have to say Amazon Watch Party is really good. It is. It is. I scrolled through it and saw people streaming Marvel movies. Jesus Christ, dude. <sighs> he was like, yeah, I used to be the king of watch parties, but I stopped once people started doing this pirate stuff. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing a watch party. Like, yeah, the thing is you can't compete. That's the problem with like a lot of the bigger streamers. I don't fucking care because I'm just where I'm at and you guys are hanging out with me and I'm so beyond appreciative for every single one of you guys hanging out with me and not when I'm not watching fucking whatever it is, Marvel movies or whatever, right? But the thing is, when people start doing stuff like that, it makes other content creators feel pressured to have to do it because they just can't upkeep their, their thing. And like, uh, streaming is such a like cutthroat industry where people constantly feel the need to be on top and they have to be the best and they have to be like the number one and it's just, it it's such a toxic environment. Why did I get this? Who, who gave me this? <laughs> Thank you, Centurion. And it, it's just, it, it's, it causes so, I don't know. I don't even know what the fix for that would be, but it's just kind of fucked up. It 
Imagine watching Looney when she would watch an anime. I mean, technically, what we could there is a way that we could do that. We could all just sync our Netflixes at the same time, and I could sit here and watch it, and we could all ha be on the same time. I could literally have a timer of where I'm- a timestamp. And we could do that. That would be a legal way of doing it. But it's like... <laughs> yeah, start a timer right when I press play, you know? That would be a way to do it. I would have to mute my audio on stream, and you guys wouldn't be able to hear my, my audio or anything, but that's a, a fine way to do it or whatever. Like, that's totally okay. I don't care. Uh, we could do watch parties. The only thing I don't like about watch parties is I have to, it, it doesn't include everyone. That'd be sick, TBH. <laughs> uh, it would be boring as all fuck for anyone without Netflix. That's the thing. Is That's why the streamers do it, is because no one needs any subscription service because it's free and they're just watching it all together. So, but it's just not right. I oh, people do do that? That's actually really cool. It's nice to, to know that people actually do that. Different shows in other countries, true. Eh, VPNs, I guess. I don't know. See, that's like another... <laughs> that's another one of those things where it's like, oh, is that actually okay? I don't know. <laughs> but, like, still, it would be your personal enjoyment at that point, which I feel like is, again, significantly different. <sighs> but yeah. Yeah, again, though, show, it's just that, like, there's the difference between, like, the personal enjoyment versus, like, like doing it, like, mo morally knowing you're doing it incorrectly, or, like, doing something illegally that shouldn't be okay, morally incorrectly, and being aware of it, doing it maliciously, I think, is a thing. So, it's just, there's just such a big difference. And that's the only thing I want for people to understand. Like, it's just a very big difference. Anyways, we don't have to keep talking about this, guys. <laughs> I feel like we've said a lot of uh, stuff and, you know, a lot of... Um, I I'm glad I got to express my feelings about this. I know... Is it, has it been three hours later? I'm sorry, I hope you guys haven't, like, you know, uh, absolutely hated me going on about this, but I felt, I felt the need to have to express this again. I know I talked about it a few days ago, but just seeing how things have been progressing, I felt the need to, like, update, but, like, also, like, I, I have talked, I've had the conversation in my mind so much that I wanted to know that I wasn't the only fucking person that thought this way, because, like, holy shit, I, I was, like, Dude, am I the only one <laughs> that feels like this is so incredibly morally incorrect and I feel un incredibly uncomfortable? Uh, so I, I felt very much the need to have to express that and for you guys to know where I stand on this stuff because I feel like, personally, I like hearing when people have their opinions on this because I know where they stand and I know what's important to them. I, I can understand what their values are as, you know, as a streamer or as a person or whatever. So to me, I don't mind talking about it, even though it gives me a little bit of anxiety sometimes, but I feel like it's important for me to talk about it because I feel like if people don't talk about it, then it's just, it just starts becoming normalized or if people think it's okay and I don't want people to think that this is okay because it's just not and like sometimes it like stresses me out to have to like voice my opinions on this because it's like oh like I'm talking negatively about a big streamer or oh what if these people like won't like me because I have opposing views of their th whatever, but I just I don't care about that, especially when like it comes down to morals. I care more about my morals and being a good person and wanting to spread being a good person in the world over a social status. I don't fucking care. So, you know what I mean? 
It's directly connected to what pays your bills. That'd make any of us nervous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I think it's like the social aspect of it too. Like, oh God, is like, am I gonna get canceled for having these opinions? I don't know. But, and I mean, I if you guys enjoy the bigger streamers too, that's totally okay with me. But I, I still felt, feel the need to voice my thoughts on it. That's all. The sad part about all of this is that if a bigger streamer were to hear all this, all they say is, okay, so don't do it. Well, I think they'd say, okay, mind, so mind your business and keep doing your shitty content that no one's gonna watch. <laughs> Which is the XQC response to these kind of things and I don't care about that because I'm happy with where I'm at and you know like I just I I, I don't know man. I just I wish it, it, it like makes me feel so relieved when I do see other content creators that actually Have a good take on this like it makes me like humanity restored <laughs> You know <laughs> oh goodness lord so yeah faith in humanity restored I say stuff in the hope someone says something to contradict me and I can learn why I didn't know think that before yeah like part of me wants to hear the opposite side of the story just because like I want to learn from like why do people think it's okay and then maybe if anything i can help to educate on why it isn't because i feel like a lot of people just don't understand how copyright works you brought up a lot of good points thank you glad to hear it uh you absolutely could make the argument that pokemon was a fool for trying to do this just like all the other folks streaming content with obvious dmca risks but twitch sitting there and just watching while all this happens is also pretty frustrating do something about this yeah i mean the thing about that is I'm sure Twitch is very well aware of it. I don't know why they haven't banned him, the bigger streamer that's doing it. I'm not sure why he hasn't been banned yet, I, and I 100% agree. I don't know why there hasn't been any action on Twitch's side of things. Like, I think it's just that like Pokey was do like streaming something that was a bit more like risky. So there was more of like an urgency, like maybe someone was like, hey, like fucking take this down. And so Twitch had to do something about it. But when it comes to Toast, I think maybe it's possible that like Twitch might be making a case on it or they're like, it was kind of mentioned in Devin's video. Like why haven't, hasn't anything happened? Like it's possible that there might be like something that is happening in the, that is behind the scenes that like, if you think about it, like it's kind of like the music thing. Like, Twitch has to, like, try to do something to figure it out, kind of. They don't want to set the precedent of acting on copyright violations without the rights holders claiming that their content was being stolen. It puts the onus on Twitch to act proactively for all violations that occur everywhere on the service. Right, yeah. Exactly. So, like, it's just... It's such a big problem <laughs> that it's hard for them to just kind of deal with it. I don't know. It puts them in a weird position is what it is. And it's- and, and people are just taking advantage of that and pushing the boundaries on it. I guess. <sighs> oh yeah, no, I bet you anything that Twitch is fucking pissed. Like, but it, they, they're kind of put in a position where they're like, probably like, what the fuck can we even do? That's the problem. I don't work at Twitch, so I don't know what their end of things are like. But I can only imagine, like, same with the music thing, same with the hate raids thing. Like, if Twitch just said what they were gonna do with the hate raids stuff, and they were sharing updates on what they were doing exactly, then people who were conducting hate raids would probably be able to just follow along with, oh, this is what they're doing, this is what we can do to get around that kind of thing. So it's just kind of like, I'm sure like Twitch is very much aware. It's just like they're in a bad position right now. I, I can't speak for them, obviously. I'm just assuming. This is my 
my hypothetical or my prediction my I don't know you know oh, oh I, I, we've talked about it in extent already I I'm okay <laughs> It's their biggest streamers. They use remote promote events doing it. They'll likely get sued hard. That's the thing, dude. They're gonna get in, like someone's gonna get in fucking big shit, and it's just a matter of time. Want to talk about other shit? I'm down. We can retire this conversation now, guys. But you know, I think that about sums it up, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. So what's the next part of the build? Anyone brings it up from here on out gets banned. So about them IMAX movies. Again, guys, I just want to say thank you for letting me like talk about this in extent, especially. I know I talked about this for a long time and I didn't necessarily want to because I didn't want you guys to have to feel tired out about this and having to like, especially if there's any chatters that like are wanting to defend the side of it or whatever. I just want to say thank you for letting me express my opinions and thank you for letting me talk about it. And I feel so much better just being able to <sighs> release that from my system. So thank you all for listening. I really appreciate it. Um, what is my favorite manga? It's- I haven't- I honestly haven't actually read a whole lot of manga series, so it's hard for me to say, like, this is my absolute favorite. But as of right now, I'm reading Berserk and Blade of the Immortal, and I'm really, really liking Blade of the Immortal. I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, really, really, really. Uh, I really liked Assassination Classroom at the start, but it's kind of- uh, it's kind of dwindling and it's kind of getting a little stagnant and I'm kind of like, eh. What is a manga? It's a book. It's a- it's like anime in book form. <laughs> uh, so there's at least one person out there who will take your side. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it, you know. Thank you. Uh, free thought. Best thing ever. <laughs> yeah, Japanese comics. Exactly. I went to do something for 30 minutes and you guys are still talking about it? You guys are passionate about this topic. Yeah, I I, I am, you know? I mean, now we, we, we can go on, but it, it's just, yeah. There, there's multiple reasons why it is a passionate topic, I guess, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, so Legend of Arceus coming out. Have I checked out any manhwa? That's like the light novels, right? No, I haven't. I want to read solo leveling, but I need... I have so much to read already that I'm kind of like... I have a serious backlog. <laughs> I'm really excited for Legend of Arceus. I feel like it's exciting that it's going to be very different from other... Um, from other Pokemon games. So I'm really intrigued to see how that is going to play out. Oh, Korean manga, right, right, sorry. I, oh, that's right, I knew that. Uh, no, I have not read any Korean manga. Mm -mm. I've heard of some though. I have a friend that reads a lot of different kinds of manga sorts and uh, yeah. When does it come out? I'm not finished with Shining Pearl. I don't know, let me check. Let me check the release date. I don't even know if I pre-ordered it. Will I, do I, is this something I need to pre-order? Legend of Arceus. Let's see. January 28th, oh, the end, end of the month. So in 20 days, 20 days. You still have some time. When does Elden Ring come out? Elden Ring. So January 28th. Chaos, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm going to go to head off to bed. Again, I did pre-order the game, so I have enough time. Nice, sounds good. I know, 20 days to finish the storage hut. <laughs> I think that's plenty of time. Do you guys know when Elden Ring was pushed to again? 
Oh, February 24th. So I have like a fullish month in between to play Arceus. I'm excited. Uh, hi, Weenie, by the way. I would like to still play on the Minecraft server in between, so I'll try to be- I'll try to do like a- a, a bit of the bit- a, a bit of the bits. I'll try to do a bit of both. Chaos a thousand! I did it wrong again! Bruh! Thank you so much, man. Jeesh! Thank you. Yes, we need to add some lanterns. The inside looking a little... Hmm... I'm not sure if I want to, like, bring this inward, so it looks a little less odd. So maybe I get rid of this layer of chests, which hopefully won't be too much. Um, yes, storage room. <laughs> Sir? Okay, maybe it'll- I, I feel like this might help. I'm not- on it, but I just feel like it looked a little flat. Yeah, that's better. And then I could put just like, I mean, would it be weird if I put chests here? Like two of them? Would that be weird? Uh, did I try to replace the walls with barrels? No, these are all trap doors because I wanted to have I wanted to have the depth without having or being able to without putting like a full block on the inside And I feel like it worked out really well. I'm really pleased with the, the outcome of this Yeah. I'm not sure what to do about this here though Do I leave it as it is? You're hoping to get a switch. Ooh, there's a lot of really good uh, we uh Arceus is read as Arceus instead of Arceus. I'm pretty sure it is Arceus. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I just do it anyway. Small supporting pillar. Hmm. Because the thing is, if I do a supporting pillar... <coughs> Who needs support? <laughs> I should probably put a... I probably should have some form of support in here. Shulker box? Oh, crafting tables and such. Yes, yes. There we go. That is a good idea. What's Arceus? Legend of Arceus, the new Pokemon game. I'm gonna just say Arceus just to mess with people. <laughs> hey, whatever works, man. I think it's Arceus. Is there like a trailer that says what it is because I have no idea uh, January 28th Eagle never seen you up this late or early really I usually am streaming around this time Pokemon says it's Arceus gotcha crafting tables I probably need a one of these um, does anyone have materials for an ender chest that's online by chance? I require one. I am in need. Arceus? Well, hold on. Oh, here. Arceus. 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 Guys, I think it's Arceus. I think it might be Arceus. <laughs> uh, I think it's Arceus, but I watched a YouTube video that said they've used different pronunciations at different times. Conflicting. <laughs> might be. I thought it was Arceus the whole time. I, I never know. Um, I'm not sure. 20 people on the server? What? Damn, guys. That's hype. It's a translation issue. Oh, interesting. In Japanese, it is C. That's interesting. So in English, it's key. So it's both, technically. Oh, man. So it, it could be, it's interchangeable. Have a good night, Geo. Sleep well, dude. 
Uh, I know I'm new and still barely have iron tools, but at some point, could I please have five to ten shulker boxes? If it's a paid system, I'll work on that before I get boxes. I think you should be fine. Um, we have the, we have a, um, shulker box, uh, farm over here. I'm not sure if you're watching the stream, actually. Uh, shulker boxes are available and free for everyone. We have an abundance. There are free ender chests available in a community, uh, in a community box and post office. Oh, okay. I am gonna go get. Thank you. I have to pick up my mail from there, actually. T. Uh, Japanese would have had a ru rukiusu if it were supposed to be a K sound. Interesting. Do you speak Japanese, Eno? Or how do, how do you know Japanese? Did you learn it? Well, we are speaking English, so. <laughs> uh, I took some Japanese in high school. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let me empty, oops. Let me empty this out a little bit. I feel like I would like, I, I had a moment where I was like, I want to learn Japanese. I think that'd be really cool. And I, I think it'd be fun to learn another language. But then I realized, what's the point in me trying to learn Japanese if I can't even practice it? <laughs> like, I guess I could like re try to read it, which would be cool, or being able to speak it would be cool. But like, who am I going to do that with? Like, you know, hi, Jay. That's the only thing. Original manga. That's why I haven't learned another a uh, language. Hey, Trey, thank you so much for the lovely raid. I appreciate it. Welcome in, folks. What's up, raiders? Good to see you. With us weebs over here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you, guys. Welcome. How was your stream, Trey? Hope you had a lovely time. Welcome, folks. I am currently working on making a storage house. This is my storage hut. I have an unwanted visitor. Whoa. Uh, but yeah, welcome. <laughs> Let's all learn Japanese and only speak that in the stream. Oh my goodness, that'd be crazy. You can watch uh, Japanese anime without subs. True. That is true. Hey, what's up, what's up? Panicking my way through Jedi Fallen Order. Ooh, that is a game I, that is on my to play list. I feel like I have so many games on my to play list that I don't know what I'm gonna get around to, but that is one of them. Minecraft is going really well, you know, we've been chilling, working on the storage building all stream having some discussions and we're living it up. <laughs> we are living it up. It's been a good time. Oh, uh, Lopar gifting 12 months of a sub to Trey. Dude, a whole year. Thank you so much. Wow. Holy Pog champion. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Jedi Fallen Order is awesome. Yeah, no, I haven't played it yet. I need to. Donoba, thank you for the four months as well. And to shout out Lopar for the gifted sub as well. Awesome. Uh, we can't use Japanese characters like Kanji, Katakana, and Hiragana. Are we just gonna spell out the sounds like Ohio, <laughs> Kosaimasu? I, I don't, I guess, I don't know. That would be actually kind of funny. Watching anime with Japanese audio so the turbo weebs would stop getting angry with me for watching dubs is about the only practical reason I could see for learning Japanese. The thing that I've heard people say, though, is that watching anime is terrible for learning Japanese. Because... I've, I've, from what I've heard, like, the subtitles are oftentimes very different from what is actually, like, being said. Like, it's really hard to translate sometimes, or, like, it's not, like, an exact, exact translation, or whatever it is. Um, and people, like, that or were saying that... I was watching a... Yeah, it's not a literal translation. Um, so... Wait. 
I did hear that from Trash Taste, yes. Um, so, uh, what one of them said was that they actually had a better time learning Japanese with watching Japanese VTubers <laughs> because it's it, it's more realistic because you know when you watch anime it's like voice actors people don't actually talk like this when in real life versus an anime you know what I mean so it's it's more natural yeah it's more natural conversation <laughs> so I was like oh yeah that makes sense <laughs> uh yeah it's guard <laughs> Context isn't taken into account. Oh, any language, even English translated into English is sketchy. Yeah, it's like the language is just like the language, like, you know? May not be the best, but you still learn some words. True, yeah, you can learn some words, but it's not like exact exact or whatever. Um, what on earth am I doing? I don't know. I'm going to get my mail. Okay. All right, we're going to the post office. Let's go. The Japanese in anime is very informal and comes off as rude. In anime, really? Interesting. Whoa! Just got all these buffs all of a sudden. To the post office. Doo -doo -doo. But yeah, I think it'd be cool to be able to learn and I feel like it'd be a fun thing to like say like, yeah, I, I know how to speak Japanese or I know how to read Japanese or write in Japanese. Like, I think that'd be really cool. And I just really like obviously an admire Japanese culture, obviously. Oh, that was the biggest debate sneeze of my life. <laughs> Why does that happen? <laughs> Like you get to the whole like part where you're about to like do the sneeze and then it just stops. Oh my God. That's the worst feeling. Okay, I have mail. What's all this paper for? How come I have just paper? Oops. Oh. I've already done Russian and Spanish. I don't want to add a third writing style to what I already know and confuse my handwriting further. Oh goodness, my English is already so pepega. Imagine if I added another language to that. <laughs> you guys, that'd be hilarious. Why do I have a random torch? Guys, what is this? This is cute. Okay. Oh! Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I don't want these. Oh. I couldn't learn a language unless I was living in an area that spoke it. Yeah, cause like even my French. So my French is like severely rusty because I have no practice whatsoever. Like at all, right? No one in California speaks French. <laughs> so I feel like the only language that would benefit me here would be Spanish. And I'm just, I, I'm personally not particularly like excited to learn Spanish like I would be to learn Japanese. You know? I studied Russian and Japanese so I can read, uh, I don't know how to say that, Cyrillic? 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 Katakana and Hiragana. Kanji is still tough though. I, I never, or I actually learned a little bit of katakana and hiragana when I was younger, mostly katakana. But I didn't even know that kanji existed back then. I didn't even realize. Les poissons, motherfuckers! <laughs> Why is that so funny? Oh my god. Uh, my Russian is totally useless here for me, so I haven't spoken. Oh, you know Russian too, Ando? Interesting. Interesting. Parlez-vous français? Un petit peu. See, like, the thing is, I have to think about, like, what I'm saying a lot before I say it. Someone say french fries or something? Oh. Oh, this is new. Oh, this is nice. Wow. Uh, right. I got distracted. Ça, ça c'est bien. Mon français est vraiment. 
ça, ça, ça prend beaucoup de temps pour moi pour penser à, à les, les mots que je veux dire. <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense, but I try to say it takes me a, it takes me a long time to think about the words that I'm trying to say. <laughs> Oh, it did? Okay. My grammar's trash. My grammar, probably the worst part of it. As a Brit, I suck at any other language than English. I don't know French at all and I could tell that sounded awk. <laughs> yeah, I had to think so hard about like what the words are. Oh, ça va plutôt bien. Je suis content. Uh, oh no, I forget what a lot of... Uh, I have a Quebec accent, do I? See, I'm from Manitoba, so I learn f like f French Canadian. How frequently were you using French in your childhood? <laughs> well, about that. See, uh... Les poissons! <laughs> Um, I went to a French high school. Can you make a French R accent? Do you mean like the H kind? Because I don't do that. I do like rolling R's. I don't know German. I went to a French high school and in my high school I refused to speak French because I thought it was cringe. <laughs> I felt like I was cringe speaking in French and also my friend kept making fun of me for my accent. Like, when you're in a French high school and you have to purposefully speak in French when everyone just speaks English, it felt- I felt so cringe. I felt like so weird. Yeah, I tell my friend all the time, you know what, it's your fault that I don't speak in French because because you made fun of me, I didn't want to have to be made fun of, so it's all your fault. <laughs> Oh, thinking that's cringe is cringe in, in itself. I mean, obviously, I know now that, like, I wish I spoke it more so that I wouldn't, you know, I was scarred for life. How good are you at repeating words you've never heard before? Repeating words I've never heard before? I'm not sure. What are friends for? Exactly. Good old, good old guy. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I literally, I took Sp I took free Spanish and French, oh my god. I took science in French, I took math in French, I took history in French, I took every single class in French except for English. And here I am, forgetting what a lot of words are in French. It's pretty bad. So. What am I doing? I keep running back and forth. Ugh. My favorite class was English class. Is that why you have trouble with English words sometimes? Probably, yeah. Like when I try to say things like char char charcuterie, like it messes me up because everyone says charcuterie. Or like lingerie. I had the hardest time saying lingerie for the longest time. Like how to pronounce them? That is part of being Canadian, I think. Because sometimes people say productive instead of productive. So I think, like, I thought for the longest time it was produce instead of produce. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of, like, my brain is, like, really confused. <laughs> my brain is very confused. Try only speaking French for, like, one minute. Entire minute? Minute? It's easier if I have someone to talk to in French, because then you guys can, like, help me. You mean because English people try to pronounce French in English? Yes. And it makes me feel weird because I'm like, well, do I do the French accent or do I do the English accent? I don't know. There are like five different ways to pronounce bag too. Yes, because I remember there was some times where my friends would make fun of me. They'd be like, can you say bag? And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> like I would say like bag or like ba 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 bag or something. 
No, my Filipino accent is Omega bad. Right? It's like a, it's like a mid, mid central, <laughs> middle of the continent kind of thing. <laughs> uh, Beg. Okay, what am I doing? <laughs> I haven't done anything in forever. Uh, okay, let me get, what am I doing? I, I'm trying to light it up. I'm lighting it up. Okay. Learning mathematics and French threw me off when I went to university and suddenly all the terminology was in, Eng in English. Dude, that would have been me for science or anything. Like for me, I don't remember much about my science class except for the mitochondria. <laughs> the mitochondria or whatever. But I learned literally everything in French. And like, if I had to go, like, I'm kind of glad I did not go to college after or university afterwards because I feel like I would have been fucked. No, I do not know how to speak in Filipino. It's the powerhouse of the cell. Dude, I did so bad with that whole cell shit in, in freaking science. I had like a 50% something in science. I was really not, I was not about it. I almost failed. Centrism, my man. <laughs> oh. Rough times, guys. Oh, goodness gracious, Lopar! <laughs> oh, I actually didn't take chemistry. Process your building thoughts in French. Bet you wouldn't get anything done. Literally. What's a chain in France? In France. See, I'm like trying to think of what words are. French. What's a chain in French? When are you joining us in your 30s again? <sighs> May. <laughs> uh, I have heard see I don't even like see I'm having this problem this is why I don't say things because people like Centro make fun of me for how I say words <laughs> crap I can't put anything here <gasps> in Shane see that's the thing too like sometimes I think a word is in a word in French because it's just like I know it is Centro I know I think a word is in French, but I'm not sure. Cause I was like, I think it's in Shane, but I don't know if it is. Can you say Tagalog? Tagalog? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I need to light up this place. I can't even put freaking... Oh, that looks like it's way too low again. I'm having the same problem. Why are we playing tag with fallen trees again? Because we can. I'll just do that. It's fine. Um, is it I Ioni John? I'm not. Sometimes I'm not sure. Or is it just On John? Hi On John. Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Hi. Thank you so much. You could just place the lanterns on the walls. Oh yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I'ma do this. <laughs> one on one, John. Thank you so much. I always feel so pepega when I get someone's name wrong. Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome to the Looneyverse. I don't, listen, okay? Sometimes people use ones as eyes, okay? Like the anime man, he has a one for his eye. So I was like, maybe that's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, Leet speak, right? Favorite biome? This one, the, what is it? Mega ty taiga biome? Old growth pine taiga, apparently. I like it. Elite speak, guys. <laughs> yes, I like to try to build stuff. I I'm more of a builder in Minecraft. Yes, yes. You we can tell Looney came from League by her instincts to say Ionia. 
<laughs> How did you know? Okay, I have literally done nothing. God, okay, I've placed things. I, okay, okay, get on track, Looney, get on track, get on track. I want to make a stone cutter. Thank you, Lynn, or Holly Lynn, it's good to see you. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Leet speak. Does anyone actually understand Leet speak anymore? Or is that obsolete? English, wait. I've had to do Lunity like that with the eye for my freaking Apple ID thing. Cause Lunity regular was gone. So imagine building a railroad on Minecraft so we can get on track. Yes. Super excited to see your build progress. Oh, thank you. I just feel really bad because I haven't done anything. <laughs> uh, how do I make a stone cutter? Is it smooth stone slabs? Is that what it is? I don't even know. Ah. Oh. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Why not just <laughs> lunity regular? I can't. I can't. <sighs> <sighs> There's a subtle but important difference between Lopar Panda, Lopar Panda, and Lopar Panda. The second two are huge jerks. <laughs> you tell them. Tell them! I thought there was a villager back there? There might be. For all I know, there's there probably is. There's stuff all over the place, and I don't even know. Uh, this is normal survival. Guys, I'm losing it again. I'm losing the track that I was on. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm getting it back. It's returning. It's returning. What am I doing? <laughs> I was trying to make an anvil in the stone cutter. Oh my god! I'm losing it! <laughs> okay. I am from the internet. My stone cut. I'm going insane. This is just gonna be tucked away over here. I did it. <laughs> uh, oh, the heads! Uh, yeah, we have mob heads on this server. Um, let me show you. So, this is a glow squid head. The villager head, that's right, I have one in here. He's over there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh god. And I have a zombie toolsmith's head as well. I just have <sighs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay, um what's next? All right, Looney, you can do this. I think what's breaking my brain cells is the whole support beam thing. Do I need to make a support beam? Do I care? <laughs> that is the question. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're good. Uh, I have no idea what that is, Jay Chosen. I have absolutely no idea. What's good? <laughs> um. A chandelier. A chandelier. Um. Hmm. Take a guess, what would I- what would I do with words to Moore's code? I don't know! I have absolutely no clue! Needs more lanterns? 1000% it does. Shit. I'm not sure what I'm doing though. 
with end rods and glass you can make really nice chandeliers we have oh it says lunity oh i don't know you surprised me the other day when you said that thing that made me escape my entire soul and i was just like what now i don't know what to expect <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> oh Lord. That was something else is what that was, okay. Alright, let's hang some lanterns. <clears throat> this is what I get for having a fun side. Ooh, maybe I just say fuck it and I just put cute little hanging lanterns all over the place, right? Oh, you know what this needs? Leaves. I need leaves on the interior. I sure do what I had- wait, man, I sure do with I had more than- oh, wish! I sure do I wish I had more than one brain cell, so I'd be capable of building more than a 9x9 cobble or wood blocks. I barely have more than one brain cell, and I can't function. <laughs> I can't do two things at once. Oh, glowberries, leaves, and spore blossoms? Is the sto spore blossom the pink? That can be my chandelier. I'm just gonna randomly place... Is that too low? I don't know if I like that. Alright, gonna randomly place some lanterns now. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Looney has more than one brain cell for sure. Chat is one of them though, so it hinders <laughs> things. <laughs> oh. And by that spelling, Centurion has none of them. What do you mean? Brian cell. <laughs> oh, an oh, I got you, King. Don't worry, man. I, I understand. <laughs> Brian cell. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to make a chandelure in here. Oh, you're not finding the spot you want, Ando? Oh no! Okay, maybe I should start with leaves. Maybe that'll be better. I don't just- I just don't feel like a chandelier works in this area. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a- it's a cabin-like kind of thing. So, like, a chandelier that's fancy-schmancy. Eh, just doesn't feel like it fits the vibes for me, personally. <clears throat> personally. I'm trying to get rid of some inventory space. Yes, I would like to do uh, Pokemon card openings probably and maybe tomorrow, actually. Yes, I need to get rid of... I, I have to go through so much stuff. <laughs> I have so many cards. We need to open them. Help. Okay, my one brain cell is failing me again. What am I doing? <laughs> what, is ha what is happening? What is happening? What is going on? Oh yeah! <laughs> this is what I was here for. Holy moly, okay. Jesus Christ. Mom said it's my turn with the brain cell. <laughs> Dude, this is impossible. Thank you, Ando. Although I do not have glowberries. The Rabbit Souls with the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome to the Looniverse, my friend. Welcome to the One Brian Cell Club. <laughs> I appreciate you being here. <clears throat> All right. I literally almost forgot what I was about to do. Oh my God, this is a problem. This is a serious problem. Okay. <laughs> Brainstorm. 
Okay. All right. There we go. I feel like I have to have glowberries somewhere. I feel like I brought them up here. <gasps> Maybe I just don't have any. <gasps> just chilling? <clears throat> oh my god, please stop. That's another one for the death counter, Sash. <laughs> oh, I don't have any here, really? Huh. Huh! Oh, thank you, Puge. Literally have a lush cave beneath my house. I should probably get some. Let's get some glow berries. Let's visit the lush cave. Haven't had a chance to. My hiccups are weird. They just like show up for like a second sometimes and then they're gone. I don't actually have them. Like they're gone now. My, my kind like I have like certain kind of hiccups where they're just like burp hiccups or something. Kind of hard to explain. Okay, I almost forgot why I was here. <laughs> oh, close one. All right, give me the glow berries. Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay, I need this to not be in my inventory. How many of these should I get? Mm. These will grow back, right? Ah! Did I say glow back? Grow back. Grow back? What is happening? Um... Hmm... Should I be bone mealing these? Oh, okay. <clears throat> so I have three. Yeah, I'll just bone meal these. Whee! <laughs> Love that. Ah! Ah! I think if you drink a bunch of water and swallow or something, it removes hiccups, I forget. That's typically what I do. Oh no, Sash! Dude, there, I have so much tropical fish that just shows up here because of my, my thing, my elevators. Okay, how does this work? Um, so if I bone meal this, I get, Glow berries? I profit? Is that correct? Oh! Ah! Ha <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> Looks good. Um. Contemplating which corner to add to the map next. By the way, Anto, I love that map. It looks so cool. I'm not sure, I haven't checked to see how much of, pro of the progress that you've gotten before, but it looks awesome. In tank with the lovely 15 months, a bit late, but happy late new year. Happy late new year to you too. Appreciate you. By the way, guys, I posted a new picture on Instagram earlier today. I would love it if you gave it a like, just so I feel validated. <laughs> There's no other reason other than that. <clears throat> but also, if you'd like to see the post or read the post, that is completely optional. That is completely a thing as well. <laughs> oh, is it? How do I um trim these? How do I make it so that they... I guess I technically wouldn't need... Lanterns, technically. <clears throat> I liked your post on IG, by the way. Thank you, the dong. I appreciate it. 
I'm gonna try to give a less of a shit about what I it is that I'm posting on Instagram and I just want to post stuff that I like like I feel like I care too much about oh is this gonna look aesthetically pleasing or oh is this gonna be the quality that people usually post on Instagram because I cared too much about that stuff instead and I just stopped posting because of it because I'd be like oh I don't know if this is if this is good enough and if people will accept this as good enough and stuff like it's just stupid uh you should put string underneath them so they don't grow down to the floor i think if i use shears actually it should stop it right like if i do this i think that stops them from growing what would help is more shuffle videos oh good lord have mercy on my soul sir please please Wow, that didn't even do anything. Shears will stop them from, from growing? Okay. I don't know if I actually want this much, but it's kind of happening. Okay. How did I get into shuffling? Oh goodness, this was like in high school for me. I had a friend that was super into it and he kind of just like showed me a video of it and I was like, holy crap, this is so freaking cool. I want to learn how to do that. And so I did. <laughs> and that is how Lunity started her shuffling career. And I was like, oh, I think it'd be super cool, or I want to make pictures, or I want to make videos of me shuffling too. I feel like that'd be really fun. And so I did. That's pretty much it. And that was that. And that's how Myra Merciless was born. Yup. <laughs> Liked the IG post, kind of excited for your goals. Also getting, uh, setting some of mine and getting the hell out of my comfort zone. Yes, dude. Like I was so excited that I even just made the manga video that I'm gonna be posting there soon. I just wanna make a, the reason I haven't made or posted it yet is because I wanna make a post about manga first before I like a, a picture with me involving manga first and kind of just being like oh yeah like explaining when I got into manga just because like for my own personal enjoyment too I want to look at my Instagram and be like like a, a way for like almost like a journal in a sense like a visual journal of like different times in my life like oh I was into this year or oh hey I have an Itachi statue that I haven't shared on Instagram other than stories like what the hell like I want to post more just like stuff that I'm enjoying and I want it to be something that like I feel like I haven't like if you looked at my Instagram maybe you would know I liked anime because of my the, like the shirts I wear but other than that you wouldn't know <laughs> like you know I you would have no idea I read manga if you just looked at my Instagram page which makes me sad I'm like what how, how have I allowed myself to live like this? What's wrong with me? So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> just trying stuff out, you know? Hi, Medi! And trying to care less about just like, like why do I even care, <laughs> you know? I feel like the older I get, the less I give a shit about, which is great. Like I, I care less about like, oh, but people want, people are gonna think that I, my Instagram page looks stupid because I, I haven't I don't have a really nice camera or like blah 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 like fucking who cares you know who cares or oh I don't leave my house and I take the same pictures in this spot because I don't go outside and I don't have somebody to take like you know I, I don't have a professional photographer and oh no like my pictures aren't gonna be professional or like professional and blah blah blah. <laughs> like, who cares? Who cares? Just post what you like, goddammit. Self. I'm talking to myself. And to anyone who wants to listen. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the level of fucks I give has gone down a lot. Dude, yeah, welcome to 30s. I think that's what being 30 is about. I think that's what it's about, guys. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm understanding. Oh, I think Ando said something. Looney, can I have the brain cell for a moment? I literally, <laughs> literally went to my house, went back to the village, didn't realize I forgot to take the stuff to build. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can have it for a second. I might need it in like two minutes though. Um, but yeah, you know, like I feel like the same for like Instagram or like, like today I was thinking like, oh, should I tweet about this? Like, should I even tweet? Like, is it a good idea for me to tweet about like, like current events? Like, I don't know, maybe certain things I should be a little bit more careful about it. But like, I feel like, what the fuck? Who cares? You know, how does one join the server? You have to hit up JM Savior on Discord and he gives you the info on how to join. He gives you the IP and all that good stuff. Eh. Oh, I think this adds like an interesting touch to it, the leaves. I hope it's not too much. I don't know, if, maybe, yeah, maybe you should know or, or get your, your password back so that you can log on first. Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, watch when I hit 40, I could care less about a lot of things. I know, right? Just feel like, gets to a certain point where just like, what's the point in caring too much about something? Things that we shouldn't be too bothered by, you know? You just gotta let those things go, folks. I was gonna suggest you do the whole glowberry garden decoration thing, but then I was like, let's streamer decide on her own. And sure enough, here we are. <laughs> here we are. I feel like I can't, I can't help but come back to, to this style of plants added to the build. It just looks, it just adds so much more pizzazz. You know? It just looks really nice. <clears throat> Time for McDonald's breakfast. Ooh, what you gonna get? What you gonna get today? Oops. Oops. God damn it. <laughs> really? Care about the things you like and want, not what others force you on social media standards. Yeah, and you know, like, even if a post will give me less likes or whatever, I'm gonna try to just embrace it and be like, hey, that's okay, because I shouldn't let that bother me in the first place, you know? Like, what do likes even mean? Shit, didn't mean to do that. Like, is it just the validation? Is that all it is? It is, probably, that's pretty much it, but still. I don't want that to just be all I care about. I love Dr. Pepper, but not enough to drink it with breakfast. <laughs> Sausage McMuffin with extra hash brown and a Dr. Pepper. Do you guys put your hash brown in your sandwich? Cause I've seen people do that and I tried it and it was pretty good. As someone who is pretty much addicted to Twitter at this point, social media bad, I know. Yes, with the extra one I do, it's pretty good. I have I don't do it all the time. If I very rarely get McDonald's breakfast, but if I do, it doesn't happen very often that I do that. I just wanted to try it once because I saw someone do it and I was like, whoa. Cool. <laughs> I like had never thought to do it myself, and I was like, that is sick. <laughs> and I feel like when I tried it, I actually didn't really even notice the hash brown as much as I thought I would. I like being able to taste the hash brown by itself. Understandable, for sure, for sure. I'm a big hash brown fan. I like the hash brown. Hash brown is critical part of breakfast. Critical breakfast, like if I don't have hash browns in my breakfast, it's not breakfast to me. I need the hash brown. 
I wish I could put a leaf there. Oh, wait. Oh, I can. I can. Oh, I forgot that I could. Everything is amazing in the world. Oh my goodness. That was the greatest thing. Amazing. I've seen people put that strawberry jam on a sausage McGriddle with the extra hash brown. Yo, that strawberry jam is fire though. That, that shit is hot fire. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Especially on the freaking uh, egg McMuffin. Is it the McMuffin or whatever the heck it, the bread it comes with? Fire! It's so good. <laughs> ah. Absolute deliciousness. Is this too much? I don't know. I just like it. Sounds like diabetes. Fire! <laughs> uh, I think I need like a lantern over here maybe. Kind of feeling it. low-key feeling one here. I feel like I need to put one here as well. I done good night Lopar have yourself a lovely sleep dude take care take care take care um oh yeah okay if you put hash browns in a breakfast burrito mm -hmm. I do that with the uh, del tacos breakfast burritos thoughts on Taco Bell apparently doing a monthly taco subscription I think it's weird I wouldn't use it I, I get if it's like something like coffee but I thought that was weird. Also, Taco Bell has wings, apparently. I think that's hella weird. <laughs> I feel like it's weird. Like, what the hell? Do I have a YouTube channel? I do, but I my YouTube channel is for music. So I don't post Minecraft uh, content on my YouTube channel, but I would appreciate it if you checked out my music channel, if you'd like. If you guys are new here and you didn't know, oh, thank you, Ando. I post music. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys can follow the VODs channel. Actually, we're close to 500 subs on the VODs channel, which is really cool. Uh, yo, JC, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, subscribe to my VODs channel, my YouTube channel with where I post music. I do covers of all kinds of music. We're currently working on the next cover. Um, yes. Uh, would you ever do an Ed Sheeran cover with Nikki? I think that would be very good. I think she would love that very much. Why do I feel like this is the opposite <laughs> of what she would like by the way you are wording that? Why do I have a feeling that that is not the case? <laughs> Would I lie? Yes. <laughs> What's the next cover gonna be? Willsy was actually, well, I think I'm not one sure. I'm not sure for 1000% on it. She's a huge Ed Sheeran fan. Uh-huh. <laughs> that sounds very believable. <laughs> that, that sounds very convincing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> inside the pocket of Nikki's ripped jeans. Do 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 do. I feel like I need something here. I'm not sure what it is. Can you show us a bit of the outside? Oh yeah, sorry. I feel like you asked me this before. I need to make a pathway up to here, but this is um, this is how the outside of this is currently looking. I'm gonna add some brushes around the area. I'm gonna add some more trees again because I cut some down to accommodate the build, 
But this one would look sick if it was a Japanese style, but I was specifically trying not to... I was specifically forcing myself to try to do it in this cabin style because I want to push myself to not... to try things. And even if it would have looked cool in the Japanese build, I want to try in other try building in other styles to expand my brain cell, <laughs> my singular brain cell. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a uh, my this is this was honestly super temporary. And I have a, an increasing amount of animals in here as well. That's still there. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> How did this happen? And we have my, 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 mine. Looney's Tunnel to Nowhere. You know, similar vibes, right? Similar vibes. It's like carving a statue. You don't add to it to make it an amazing statue. You take from it to make it the masterpiece. Aha. Smart. Gonna need a bigger stable soon? No kidding. At least I have some space to expand here. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, uh hmm. Do you guys think I should put some lighting on the exterior, like on the actual build itself. I don't know. I feel like this is a shed and it's meant to just be the shed, but I feel... Oh, that's what it is. I was like, it looks like there's light coming through, but I'm pretty sure it's coming through the... Um... I think that's what my ex-wife did to me. Take and take. And now look at how chiseled of an amazing person you are to this day. Or I don't know if that sentence made sense, but, but now, look at how, look at the amazing chiseled person you are now. <laughs> You're so fucking right. Hell yeah. <laughs> we get what you meant. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh God. Goats, Lord. I never noticed that lanterns flicker before. Yeah. Right here. Look at that. Um, hey dude, hey Twizzler. You're fucking cute. Dude, I had I was howling reading that story when I was like I had woken up from my slumber, and that was like the first thing I read when I woke up, and I was dying laughing. Turok, thank you so much for the 62 months, dude. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. I- I don't know. I feel like I will remember that story for the rest of my life, dude. Of the, your- the fucking yams at Thanksgiving, bro. The freaking yams. I've told six people about it! <laughs> dude! Oh! That is hilarious! Oh, man. All right, what am I doing? Planting a tree. That's what I'm doing. Planting a tree. I got new oven mitts, by the way. They arrived the other day. God bless. Oh, man. That was the funniest thing. Oh, I'll take the whole damn thing. Oh, jeez. Too funny. All right, I need a nice tall tree. Right here. Mm-hmm. Crap. Come on. Don't let me down. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Oh, take care, Ludus. You left so fast. I do have tattoos, yes. Oh guys, I keep forgetting. I'm getting I'm getting a new tattoo next month. I keep forgetting about it. Oh my god. Oh, hello. I keep forgetting. What's it gonna be? I'm getting a piece here to mirror something here. 
I don't know what it's gonna look like yet because I gave the idea to my artist and they have to, they're probably gonna come out with like, uh, they're probably gonna give me like a night, like the mock-up of the art or whatever sometime over the course of the next month and stuff. So I'm really nervous because it hurt getting this one here. So I'm kind of like, oh Lord, but I'm excited because he's like amazing. So yeah, I keep forgetting though. I'm like, oh my God, crazy. Did you frame the old ones to commemorate? <laughs> oh, geez. All right, now I want to make a few of the little trees. Shorter trees, one can go here. Crap. No, I don't want that there, actually. I want this one here. Okay. I'm bringing back the forest that I chopped down. All right. Gotta buy more candy sticks. I get tattoos all the time, they never hurt. What do you mean? <laughs> How could you say that? That's a lie. You're just trying to act all macho right now. <laughs> no, you're amazing, Wilsey. No, you're amazing. This brain cell is tired and should get some sleep. Yo, Point, thank you so much for hanging out. Rest that beautiful brain cell of yours so it can thrive tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good one. Uh, you just slap it on there and put some water on it. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh. I decided I don't like this one and I want it closer. My brain cell is like, Cell from Dragon Ball Z can never be defeated and comes back stronger. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> Lord. Okay, I actually want this here. No. Want this here. Okay. Now get out of here. Go. And, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. My brain cell is like cell, wait, oh, I read that already. God damn it. <sighs> but it's fictional. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, yay, it's looking good. I feel like adding the trees back made me feel better about this. I wanna add one here. That is a short one. Do they get taller? Yeah, like this one was perfect. I want, this is, what is this? What do you call this? Little baby man tree. I think I want a tattoo of my cat's paws because she's been with me since I was little. Oh, that's really sweet. I feel like that's always like a really good tattoo idea. Like you can never go wrong with that, you know? I mean... Me versus the girl they tell you not to worry about. Or the guy or whatever. <laughs> oh, is that what you have, Tommy? Dude, that's sick. It's bootyful. Uh. I mean, it's just, it's... <laughs> Hello, space, what's up, what's up? We, we could, we could, we, we can do better, guys. We can do better. Uh, I mean, I'm sure, maybe, or maybe they're a psychopath. I don't know. I 
need more bone meal. Let's see. Thank you to Ando for these. These are coming in very handy right now. All right. Do -do 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 -do. I believe in you. You can do it. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> interesting, but we will take it. It's got some curves to it, you know? Nice hourglass in the opposite way. <laughs> also interesting, yes, yes. Oh no. All right, that fills in that little corner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I need, well, I might leave this a bit more open because it's probably gonna be... <laughs> a tree got a but donk a donk uh, I feel like this area is kind of... Hmm... I feel like something about this build is missing something. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I feel like it might just be the lanterns. Like maybe, I kind of want to put like a lantern up here. Oh my god. How can I? Like, like maybe if I put one like here? You know? All right. Part of me wants to play League, but that means playing League. <laughs> oh no. Actually, I think that might be okay. What do you guys think? Is that a good lantern placement if I do it on both sides or is that too, is that too symmetrical? League is drawing me in with the new season. I might actually rank, oh boy. <laughs> Best of luck if so. Um, hello Dintern. How do you find diamonds? I think diamonds are on, oh God, what it is, what is it again guys? the best concentration for diamonds now 17 negative 59 negative 53 negative 57 negative 58 something around there it appears negative 54 is just at lava level mm. there you go the lower you go, the higher the concentration is. Negative 56 to avoid lava lakes, but the lower the better. Well, there you have it. Thank you, chat. Thank you so much for being amazing. Um, Very new to this game and I can only find iron. I only have like two iron, oh no. Make sure you, when you mine your diamonds that you have an iron pickaxe for it. How deep are mines now? Oh, they're like really, like, yeah, negative 64, it's like crazy. According to Izuma, it's negative 59. Okay. Yeah, iron is like much higher. Yeah, the mines are pretty crazy. The world goes from negative 64 to 320 now. That's crazy. Oh no, I brought moss blocks with me and I didn't put them in here. I think that's okay. I could sprinkle some in still. Eh. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Just, just a little sprinkle. Seems good. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's pretty crazy. Uh, do I even like it? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what to do with this area. Like this area just feels kind of empty to me and I'm not sure what to do about it. I could put like some trap doors and put like a little something, I guess. Maybe I do the dark oak trap doors. Let's try. Maybe I put like a little, 
little something decorative. Oh no, they got <laughs> Nesba back into league. Oh crap, it is 4 a.m. It is 5 a.m. Oh my god. Have a good night, Central. Take care, dude. Ugh. What do I think about the moon? I like it. I don't like it. I don't like this. I don't know what to do. Maybe this is just a lost cause. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm, put bushes there? I don't know. You think so? Like if I drooped it down a bit more? Maybe. Let's try. Oh! I want this to grow more. Like potted plants? Oh, potted plants. I'm not sure, because then if I do that, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll try this though. You gave me an idea for this. So that's something. I just don't want to, like that? I mean, it's better than before, I feel like. I don't know. Before it felt a little weird. Felt kind of odd. I just hope this isn't too, like, symmetrically looking. Mob heads? True! I could. I have, like, I have the, um, the glow squid one, I guess. Currently, the games I play, I have a, lo a love-hate relationship with. I really do love myself, eh? Mmm, yes. Mmm, yes. Uh, oh, are you in the Discord, by the way, Charity? We have a channel that has coordinates for farms and such. Uh, do we have the- do we have the Shulker one in there? Do we have the Skeleton Farm in there, too, listed? Okay, I kind of have to wrap things up a little bit, guys, because it's getting real late, but let's see how we did today. So remember when we started off with this? So I added a few things, I guess. I added like some pillars here to the front, right? Uh-oh. And then we added this but all in all not too bad right we kind of were able to we, we basically were able to bring out the idea that we wanted the only thing like looking at this now personally if i were to change anything would be maybe the bottom um, shades, like the, the trapdoors. No, I don't think I have any bounties right now. That's a good call though, Eagle. Thank you for mentioning it, just in case. No, there's just something for streaming Earth Defense Force. Um, so, I feel like if I were to change the, um, like the bottom of this here to be a uh, deep slate as well, like to match this, or if I had cobble walls down here instead, I feel like I would like that, but I'm not sure if that would actually work out as I would want it to. But I'm really happy with the, I'm really happy with uh, how decently well I was able to create the painting, the paint drawing. <laughs> From paint to Minecraft. 
Ta-da! We did it! Oh, I was like, wow, that's exact. <laughs> where, where are you? Here. Dang it, I ruined it. From paint to Minecraft. <laughs> wow! Wow. She messed up and missed one and told me to remind her to check. Wait. Oh. Honestly, looks the same. I'm gonna save this. I always save all my, my paint references. This is, what, what do I call this? Oh yeah, to date the build, right. Cottage storage build, right? Or what do I call this? Forest cottage, forest cabin storage hut? Storage shed? Shed. Forest cabin storage shed. <laughs> that is the name of the build. Let's date it. Um, maybe with the, do I do oak or spruce? Spruce has been the classic. I even have a uh, cool ink on me, wow. Loon, Looney's storage shed. What day is it today? Do I do the 7th or the 8th? 0108, it was done, so we'll do that. Looney's storage shed. Hoggies. <laughs> 8122. <laughs> Maybe take a screenshot for reference as well, although I guess you have the VOD. Screenshot? Oh, thank you so much. That's really sweet, Indigo. Thank you. <laughs> um, I know. When it's complete is the best date? Okay, cool. It's complete, except... So I just have to put, like, the stuff in it. I just obviously don't have anything in here right now. But I have this stuff, and I just have to do like the pathway, but like honestly the build's like basically done. So, I I don't know, should I add another, maybe I should add another lantern on the other side, it looks a little awkward just having the one. I forgot you lot switched the day and month, yeah I know. Uh, great. Cool. Thank you, guys. We don't mind. <laughs> okay, guys, I have to wrap it up for here. Here for today, I mean. I was like, I'm gonna end a little earlier today than the usual, so I have time to read my manga before I sleep. And now it's 4.21. <laughs> Dang it. Um... I like my notepad system. Aw, that works too. 421. We missed 420, guys. Wow. But uh, thanks again for today's stream, guys. I, I feel like today was a really good stream. We got to talk about a lot of subjects that I felt that I needed to talk about. So once again, thank you guys so much for listening and for being here and for allowing me to express my opinions and my my thought processes as well with you all i really appreciate you all listening and for giving your thought processes as well and for having these important discussions with me and also for being here during my storage uh build and trying to figure out what the hell i'm building and thank you everyone for the follows uh, brand new subs, resubs, gifted subs. Thank you all so very much for being here. The bits as well. If you guys enjoyed the stream, don't forget to hit the follow button. I'd love to hang out with you guys again in the future and to just, uh, yeah, to chill and talk about what else, whatever else we talk about. We like to talk about ma manga and anime and all kinds of things here a lot. So if you guys enjoy any of those things or those sound enticing to you, then feel free to stick around for next time. Food, yes, we like to talk about food a lot. <laughs> But yes, uh, thank you all so very much for hanging out. Also, these are my socials if you'd like. Posted a new picture on Instagram today. Feel free to check that out if you'd like to give it a like, a little heart. Um, what else? Oh, I also do music. So if you're new here and you didn't know about my music, I do covers of all kinds of 
music, whether it's popular or a little bit throwbacky. Um, would love it if you checked it out. I also post my music on Spotify too. So if you guys are more into Spotify, feel free to check that out too. Uh, does your increase in picks count towards more TikToks? Uh, what do you mean? Like, tie, does it, the content tie into each other? Mm, a little bit. Oh, yes. Does your increase in picks count towards more TikToks? Oh, um... Honestly, it's just something I kind of wanted to work on, just in general. I want to post more on... I think Instagram was a big one for me. I wanted to just kind of add to that a bit more for my own personal enjoyment mostly honestly um just because i like being able to look back on my year and see the pictures and see what i've done but i haven't really been able to do that the last few years because the last few years on my instagram is just like random selfies and you can scroll through it in like two seconds literally on i mean obviously it benefits work as well because like the more I post, the more people see, and like the more frequent I post, the better, obviously, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, so it, it's, it benefits all around, TBH. Yeah, just more in general, more social media stuff. So it's an all around good thing. Um, I am going to host Radical Elder. He is a good friend of mine who also streams Minecraft. Um, I met him through the Verified server. Um, looks like he, today he's playing on a community server, so kind of similar to what we're doing. But he raided us the other day, and I would like to return the lovely gesture. And it's nice to see that he's on. I feel like sometimes I'm not able to catch him, sometimes I am. But we're gonna give him a lovely raid, so if you guys would like to see some really cool builds. Radical Elder, Elder also makes really awesome builds as well, so... Um, feel free to stick around and raid with me if you'd like. Um, he's super duper chill, and, uh, yeah. Looks like he's maybe working on a, a storage building as well, perhaps? I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you're at in the world. Hi, ASQ, I'm sorry I'm heading out for the night, but thank you all so much for tuning in. Once again, I can't, I can't thank you guys enough for being, uh, so awesome, and I, I'm very thankful for the community that I have, and I'm very, I'm very, you know thankful and just i feel like there's a better word that i wanted to use but i can't think of anything other than grateful thankful i feel like relieved also just to know that i have so many great people in this community and you guys are all really fantastic so i feel blessed i feel very blessed yes definitely so thank you guys so very much all of the great feelings that i have i have them <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for being you and for being here for hanging out and stuff hope you have a good day or night once again stay safe out there guys i'll catch you on the next stream and <laughs> take care everyone have a good one <laughs> bye guys toodles